This is the biggest casino there is. There, you have no idea if there's the surface or not. You're just hoping there is. I've watched enough guys on TV cleaning enough rocks to go, ah, I'll get this, I, I got this. That was wrong. Thousand US dollars now into this. We need to see gold. I got more in my teeth than we found last season. So you spend $1,000 in fuel to get a hole. Nothing in the hole. It was, it was so bad. Way tougher, way tougher than any of us expected. You can't stay mining up here and you know, do the hole for nothing. We're new to this. We're rookies. We're not quite getting it. If we don't get 100 ounces this year, it's it. It's over. Let's make some gold, guys. Freddie Dodge. There's no guarantees in gold, buddy. And Juan Ibarra. Well, let's do it, huh? Have mastered the art of getting gold out of the ground. Look at that. In the most rugged places on earth. I'm feeling a little sick, buddy. Now, they rescue struggling miners. Ooh. That's not good. Who risked it all to be rich. Whoa, 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 shut it down. But are about to lose. Eyeballs. To revive these failing mines. Freddy and Juan engineer the impossible. Well, I've never heard of an undersluice before. Deliver something. This material you're digging now is totally worthless. And track down the gold. That's what dreams are made of right there. But if they don't at least double the miner, they won't take a dime in return. So it's ten times the amount of gold. That's off. <laughs> Hey, Juan, I showed. Yeah, he was saying it was down the logging road, right? So I'm imagining this is it. Do they have much experience mining, Freddy, that you know of? I don't think they have much. They started getting set up last year, and uh, they just started running a little bit. I think we may be in a tough situation here. Dang it. OK. We'll lurk. In the central interior of British Columbia, Freddy and Juan are entering a call for Haver Creek mine. Located in an area with rich gold potential, during the Fraser River Gold Rush of 1858, around 30 miners converged on the area. In only a nine-year period, they produced gold worth over $3 trillion in today's money. How we doing, gentlemen? How's it going? Your familiar face, Jay. Brown, Jay, nice to meet you. Ready? Trevor. Ready. Trevor. Nice Trevor. Trevor. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sasha. Nice to meet you, Sasha. Very nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Sasha. Juan. Nice, nice to meet you. Mark. 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 I don't know Mark. Sasha. Mark. Trevor. Nice no, it's great you guys are here. Welcome to Canada. We need help. <laughs> Not a psychiatrist. Just so you know. <laughs> Damn. Well, we need. <laughs> what did your uh, season look like last year, as far as gold totals? Last year was a bust. It was a bad bust. We found about three quarters of an ounce. I mean, digging through 30 feet of clay to try to get to bedrock. It was just, it was nasty. So last year was bust. This yeah. year's, how are you doing so far? That up here, uh, we've been running for about a week. Wow, OK. This is what we got out of there. Um, sixth of an ounce. Sixth of an ounce, yeah. And I'll guarantee you we lost half of it. Oh, I guarantee. Oh, yeah. So, so far, everything you found is about that size then? Yeah. Not a lot of fines in it, huh? As far as financially, what do you guys have tied up in this? From claims, machinery, to put together total, 400,000 US. And nobody's getting a paycheck unless we see some gold. I started gold mining one summer, and I got the buck. You've seen it on TV. It looks adventurous. It looks fun. It looks like it can be done. So we, we, last year, pulled together a couple of good buddies. I asked Jay and Trevor, and we said, let's do the adventure. We did not get very much gold, not even an ounce. This was a really tough year. I wanted to give it up. I really wanted to give up. Last year, Mark Skakan met local gold enthusiast and claim owner. It's been a hobby of mine for many years, and these claims took me quite a while to acquire. I saw an opportunity and I, I grabbed hold of it. it. Soon overtook me and it became too big for me. I know there's better gold on here because I found better gold here. Some are fairly chunky. I had to, I got the other folks involved and we're trying to make this work, make it worthwhile. Meeting with John, being good friends with him, his property, having a chance to help him, and we all share in the gold what we find. When John purchased the claim five years ago, it came relics and a broken wash plant. Located on 1,600 acres of dense wooded terrain, Mark recently moved the operation to the area. There's actually dirt going through a trauma. It's being washed. We're actually seeing gold in a pan. Like, <laughs> this is light years ahead of last year. What's your season goal this year? We have the goal of 100 ounces. This is the turning point, whether we just 
tuck our tail between our legs. We don't want to. That's why we're here, is to help. Ah, uh, and you know what? We we need it. There's only one way to find out. Yeah, let's let's do a test run. Okay, let's do this. They're just barely starting out, and they've got less than half an ounce of gold to a goal of 100 ounces. It's a lot. That's a, a massive undertaking. To be honest, I just don't know if that's even possible. Right? Fire it up. Fire it up. Freddie and Lon will conduct a test run to identify problems, and Mark's wash plant can catch in four hours. There it is, Freddie, first bucket. Let's get some pay dirt into there. Trevor and Mark haul pay from a cut 600 yards from the wash plant. We'll take full loads here because we're now starting to move. The pay is loaded into a hopper and drops into an eight-foot rotating trommel. Ray bar blasts the dirt, washing the small material and gold through the screen and down into the sluice box, where gold should be caught in the metal. I know there's a lot of people that only dream about living their lives this way, and here we are playing in the big sandbox. It's fantastic. We gotta get the 100 ounces this year, or we're not gonna have another season. Back empty-handed, not this time. From a distance, I don't like the look of the material. It's kind of a glacial tilt. Not much. Gold in it. This little plant is not made for what they want to do. No, find a pickup and test ground left. Not to mine. Not to try to make a living off of. The traco bucket's bigger than the plant, Juan. Yeah. He's kind of missing. Look at all that fine material that's getting spit out on the ground. The rookies to mining, you can tell there's a lot of inexperience. That's loose, running like crap. Not near enough water. Not enough water, crooked. Yep. There's why we weren't seeing much fire. Yeah. We had. The poorly configured sluice box is uneven and doesn't have enough water to properly wash the rocks, causing material to build. Piling up at to the top. Both of which will cause gold to be lost. Yeah, I don't even know where to start, Fred. There's just so much going on here. The plant has quite a few problems. These guys, they, they lack the experience. So they're pumped. Small pump, pump. Yeah, a lot of head, a lot of, head, a lot of line going yeah. down through there. And half their water is going on the ground, not down the sluice box. They've hardly got any material through it. They're probably doing five yards an hour. It's like watching paint dry right now, though. Watch. We're yeah, here it. over four hours. Yeah, I'll call it Freddy. Yeah. Last bucket. Copy that. That's it. Shut her down. There's some gold in it. A Just bit. pull the mats and see what's in them. Yeah, let's pull the mats. Let's do it. You know the plant. You know everything. In order to make this this plant viable, we're going to have to take it all apart. It's everything that's still not going to do the amount of yardage. No, well, that's not a production plant, only a test plant. Yeah. 10 yards an hour max. And that's not where they need to be. Exactly one. These are probably the most inexperienced miners we've ever held. The 100 ounces is unobtainable the way they're running now. Didn't look like very much gold, did it? it didn't, Freddie. Well, we're gonna see what it is. At the Neighbor Creek Mine in- This is my son, Dustin. Hey. Dustin, nice Freddy to meet you, Dustin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Dustin. Nice to meet you, too. John, Fred. Sasha's son, Dustin, and claim owner, John, to see the results from the four-hour test. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do now for the moment is weigh it up, huh? Let's see what we came up with. Count. With approximately 100 days in the mining season, in this situation, it really does. Yep. This four-hour test is 0.4 ounces to hit their one ounce a day goal. 0 0.02, not good, guys. Not good at all. It's painful. That doesn't even pay for the fuel that you use on your no. plant. You said your goal was 100 ounces this yeah. year? Yeah, yeah. So that means you gotta get, that's nowhere near it. No. no. 0.02 was extremely disappointing. A lot of hard work and effort went into that. And 
What we're going to do is we're going to come up with a game plan. Mm. What's that about? You have another plan here then? I have no idea whether this thing works. None of us. It's pretty rough. Well, let's go chat about it and see what we can't come up with, Fred. OK. We'll see you guys after a bit. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. guys. Well, that wasn't very impressive. 0.02. Yeah. We could fix that small plant, but it's kind of like putting lipstick on a pig for those guys because they can't run enough material. That's right. We're only here so many days. Do we have the time to fix this bigger plant? Charge shoot. But the hopper, the feed hopper, it's... The grizzlies are missing. You know, ideally, if we could see it run for, you know, a day or for just a couple hours... If it, There's no seeing it run. It's in pieces. It, it's completely unknown. You know, mm -hmm. it might have a bad gearbox, may have bad rollers. We don't know mm -hmm. until we actually get it in there and run it. You know, it's a gamble, Freddy. Well, what we've got here is a puzzle that might not have all the pieces. Yeah. Without it, they don't have a chance. No, they don't. We're going to have a plan because, uh, honestly, there's just, just no other way. You know, running six, seven, eight yards an hour is not going to cut it for these guys at all. Let's go put some rough numbers to. For the first time ever, Freddie and Juan will completely refurbish a plant that hasn't run in years. Their aim, out of pay that can be processed. To feed the plant, they will attach the hopper, install new grizzly bars, and plumb in system. To power the trommel, they will replace the old electric motor with an entirely new gas-powered engine. The old sluice box will be modified with higher sides and given a new riffle and carpet setup to catch both coarse and fine gold. 100 ounces in the remaining three months of the season. It's a lot of money, Lauren. Yeah, let's see what they say. How we doing? Good. Really good. Yeah? Okay. Hey, Get organized. Well, we kind of came up with some numbers. I think if you guys have any chance of being able to get the ounce a day goal, you're going to have to go to that bigger plant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in order for that to happen, yeah. there, there's quite a bit we got to do. Involved in it. With motors, pumps, the steel, you know, we've got a rough estimate of about $14,000 just in. Wow. That's a bunch. But, but reality is, without that bigger plant running, you have no chance of being able to reach your goal. Well, we're going to have to bring other people in on this one to help us because there's no way we can get it done in the amount of time. So on top of the 14,000 in materials, be six ounces of gold and you pay us. Wow. Because right just, now you need an ounce a day to survive, right? And you think so this mine can produce that? Gold's got to be in the ground, of course, yeah, yeah, but yeah. some better ground to run. You can't keep running that stuff. No, no, clearly. Without you guys, we're stuck. Oh, hold on a second. I really need you to back up for a second. Okay. So let me see if I got this understanding. There's right from the, from the front, right from the Grizzly, right to the back end, there's a whole rework that has to be done. A lot of labor. 14,000 for plus material. six ounces of gold. I'll tell you what, we usually want to double the amount of gold, but in this situation, double a very little. If we don't get you 20 times the amount of gold in that first cleanup, which was not a lot, right? Yeah. Then you don't pay us for labor. So, so 20 times more gold from what we had on our first test run, that's nearly half an ounce. Yep. So it'll get you in four that hours. half an ounce in four hours. So that gets you the, okay. in 10 hour day, okay, you're cool. roughly doing an ounce of gold. Right. I'm good with that. All right. Okay. Perfect. Deal. All right. Awesome. Thanks, yeah. Thank you. It means everything. We're going to call in some workers of ours to come and give us a hand, mm -hmm. but we're still going to need your guys' help. You tell us what we need to do, and we'll be getting her done. We'll go start planning stuff. Yeah. Got to make some phone calls. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thanks, All guys. right. Thank you. All right. If we can get to that 20 times what our cleanup was, this will actually start to pay for itself. But that's a great deal. The issue is the time constraint that we have. You know, we're going to have to do a lot of work here, so we need to get on the phone right away and call Travis and Alex and have them start heading this way. Whoa! Juan's complete mine makeover. Pretty heavy steel, Juan. Unload the 30-foot trommel so that they can assess the work ahead. Built for the last 20, 30 years, so uh, no one's seen it run. Well, uh, we're going to try to revive it. We're going to get it on the ground, start getting all the measurements and figure out what exactly we need to make this thing run. That's good, right there. Right there, Trevor. Good, pull out. Great to see that thing on the ground, I tell you. One step closer. It's exciting. It 
Trevor, let's have a look in your pit here. While prep continues on the trommel, Freddie wants to get eyes on the pay dirt they've been... The amount of gold that was in that cleanup for four yeah. hours was miserable. I mean, we're trying to get down a bedrock in here. Well, there's just something in there that doesn't look good to me. The rocks aren't really right. Shingled rocks are smooth and round as a result of being constantly rolled in running water. Presence indicates the location of ancient riverbeds where they act like riffles in a sluice box collecting gold. This hasn't had any erosion on it. Never gets re-sluiced by nature, right? Well, this is just uh, exercise and futility, really. I wouldn't play with this anymore. Let's find you some better gold. Let's do it. I don't like the look of the material they're running out of that pit. No matter what we do to their plant, if there's not enough gold, there's not enough gold. Mark, how you doing, buddy? Good pretty good, pretty good. At the Nagar Creek Mine in British Columbia. Give you a hand on anything? Juan's first challenge on the wash plant install the new engine. We pulled off that electric motor. Yep. We're going to go with the gas. 20 horsepower V-twin motor. So it's going to be a little different design than what you guys had before. It's viable. The new gas-powered engine will be connected to the gearbox by an adjustable belt. Juan must build a custom mounting plate to hold it in place. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the motor right where the old motor used to be. Okay. And it's kind of guarded underneath that hopper. But what I'm doing is I'm building a new base plate for the motors. You're doing your own washers and you're doing your own... <laughs> everything, yeah. <laughs> we'll send it over to the table and uh, let's cut it. We'll just hit start on the machine. Nice. So there we are. Juan's computer-aided design table precisely cuts the 10 base plate components in under six minutes, saving hours of manual... Well, that's it. We'll pull them all out and I'll have you help me get them all cleaned up. Sure. We'll start putting it together. Seems like everyone's got a little bit of money. Sounds like you got a little bit more than everyone else, huh? Everything from all the machinery, the fuel, any repairs, everything came oh, out of my wallet. Really? Fine, huh? Yeah, it is. There's no extra check coming in, but we've put a little bit away, so we'll survive while we're out here, and we need to see gold. The new wash plant could run up to four times the amount of pay, giving Mark a fighting chance at making his money back. It's got great bones. You know, she's a little older, but uh, I think with what we got, it's, it's a good start. Oh, yeah. You want to get that going? Oh. I'll, uh, I'll keep on plugging along. we got a lot to do. Help, Mark. Mark has $400,000 invested into this operation, and that's a lot of money. I'm hoping that we can get their plant set up, get them on some better material, and this can be a viable operation, not just a dream. Well, let's have a look. The material we ran in the first test run, it's no good. So now the pressure's on me. Hopefully, I can find some better material. Where are we at right now? Is the, the whole area that we're in, and where we are mining is just down in here. On the hunt for better ground, Freddie looks at the area with claim owner John Olson. So that's the stuff they ran right here? Uh, right pit, there. Right here? Yep. Okay. That's no good. Yes, it is. That's okay. a little neighbor. Okay. Where the plant's set where up? the plant set up. The uh, old creek bed for little neighbor creek uh, comes along in this valley. I panned uh, all the way down into the creek here. There was gold found there, and some of it can be, you know, fairly chunky. Yeah. Be better gold there. Oh, yes. So I'd like to go down here because it's more the creek bottom, but there's only one way to find out. That's, that's right. To dig a hole in it. I think that's a good plan. Thank you very much. Fred. So once the river was here, and now the river's here. So if that's the case, if that's the case, then there could be a virgin layer of gold bearing material. It may be 10 feet thick, it may be a foot thick. The only way to find out is go down there and dig a hole. The creek would have been up here, right? Yeah. With the information from John's map, Freddie recruits Trevor on a hunt for the ancient near the small wash plant. I can see right now this has got really rounded rock in it. So yep. that's a good sign. So through erosion, they get rounded out and glaciers. The rocks could indicate an old stream once flowed here, leaving behind gold concentrated in the gravel. Let's punch a hole here and just see. Let's get in the machine. Let's get this done. Trevor, take one more scoop there. One more, okay. 
One of the biggest things we can do here, besides working on the plant, is teach these guys how to prospect, what material to look for in the future. Without doing that, then they're nickel. Trevor, you want to hop out with me and let's have a look at this? Yeah, you betcha. Well, that's not that far down to bedrock, Freddy. My hope here is it's an old bench channel up here, or an old river bench, a yeah. bench. And the goal, I think it's an old stream bed. You know, the stream's cut its way to where it's at now, right? Yeah. But at one time, the stream bed was up, and then erosion happens. Picture the Grand Canyon, yep. right? We're eroded a mile deep now. Well, same with these canyons. So as it erodes down, it can leak. And you may have some other benches this way too, some old ones. A bench deposit forms when gold settles in a riverbed, cuts a new path. It leaves behind an area of concentrated gold. How important is it to make this mine operational? I mean, it's about making lifestyle. You know, even going back right now wouldn't really make much of a difference if I was back in the city. It's no work there anyway, so. I work history in the transport division. I haven't worked this year. Due to the rider strike going on, the whole industry is down. 90% of the people are laid off right now. So, you know, that, that kind of screws up your life. I don't want any of that ever again. Gold mining, it's hard. It is hard, on, but it is so easy on the mind. For me, this is paradise. It, it is, you it's an incredible. You throwing money at something if it's not making money. Look at there. Look at that. that guy. Look at that. Yeah. That guy, that guy. Well, there's gold there. That's for dang sure. That's some good gold there. I yeah, like it. I like it too. My thoughts are we dig our pond there for the bigger plant, so you have then we sluice that. We're killing two birds with one stone. The gold bearing bench is next to the old wash plant pond. Freddie's planned out the pay and stockpile it. Then fill up the cut with water to create a settling pond system to provide clean water for the larger wash plant. I'm learning a lot from him. He's an amazing teacher. His wealth of knowledge is incredible. You can tell he's been doing this a long time. These guys are only here. It's go time. And we gotta make it happen now. This morning, over 400 wildfires are raging across British Columbia. Huge areas to the north of the province have been evacuated. In parts of the central interior, residents are being advised to stay indoors as thick smoke has caused the air quality to reach its highest level of... Thirty miles south of the fires. This must be it. Freddie and Juan's reinforcements, Alex and Travis, needed supplies. Well, we got a bunch of work ahead of us, guys. We're, yeah, we're gonna have to bust ass on this one. We got a complete drive system we gotta build. Uh, the hopper, the grizzlies on that. Freddie's rebuilding the, the sluices right now. And then on top of that, we gotta get it in place, get water ran to it. We gotta dig out ponds. Sounds good. All right. So, thing unloaded. Yeah. Drive that. All right, guys, thanks. thanks. All right. We're gonna put them right to work. Hopefully with their help, we'll be able to get everything we need done. No strangers to a mine site. Travis Stuck's Void have helped out before. When they give us a call, you know they're far behind. Travis and I are always willing to help these guys. In 2022, when Freddie left a rescue for a, the guys stepped in to help military veterans Mark and Rick increase their gold recovery by a huge 1,300%. <laughs> Back a little and we'll just set it sideways. That'll work, you're on now. Hey, Freddie. How's it going? Behind the trunnel, Freddie prepares the sides of the old sluice for an upgrade. Just getting stuck anchors down. So I'm going to put higher sides on it, and then we'll put a different wedge system in it. OK. I'm going to remodify everything on here. <coughs> Smoky. Yeah, we got forest fires burning nearby. Coughing all the time. Yeah, we've got one far away, but a new one's just popped up, so we'll keep our eye on it. OK. We've got all our heads on a swivel. Yeah, just keep an eye out so I don't catch something on fire. Copy that. And then I'll probably have you help put the plates on. You got it. Thanks, sir. It's really tinder dry right now. There's a lot of fires in the area, and there's a lot of what, particulates in the air, so it's a little hard on the lungs. Just hold her for me, and I'll mark. Perfect. Eyeballs. Alex and Jay help Freddie weld high steel sides onto the sluice box so they can run more material. We've got to 
got to clean the inside of this because this is going to slide inside there. So once we mount the motor onto this plate, we can adjust it. At the plant, Juan and the new motor. The 20 horsepower V-twin gas engine has the torque capability to turn the drum full at 20 revolutions per minute. I'll get it in here, get it in place, line it up and weld it. Yeah. So hopefully I'll get it running before the end of the day. Very happy. Look at that some more. This is gonna be beautiful. Let's weld it. I'm really happy the way it's coming together. We got it in, really we got the mount that we designed installed so that way we can adjust it and uh, should be good. So the carpet is catching all the fines, right? Sluice welds complete. Freddie shows mine operator Jay how to assist for maximum gold recovery. We're using this carpet to trap the gold, but we're also using different mannerisms in how we put this box together, those riffles. Okay. Can do. Yep. I've made these so they'll tip in. So see how they tip in now? Oh, okay. It's just for a little speed, right? Yeah. So now we'll take our short some wedges. We got six different changes in this loose box. Every piece of gold's different, right? Yeah. So you're a piece of gold that doesn't like this situation. You may like that little first change. Right. You may keep skipping down the box and find that this is the change. You get hung up in there. It's always something different. Oh, that totally makes sense. Did you call area or? No, no, it's city. I'm strictly a city guy. My brother, he introduced me to this area when I was impressionable, 12 years old. Yeah, it was good time. Did he do a lot of prospecting? And yeah, stuff? he did. He did a lot of panning up here. So you and your brother still go out gold panning? I lost my brother uh, a few years ago. Uh, that time, I've always wondered about gold. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about your brother. Yeah, it just sort of stays with you. You just move on, right? Yeah. He's a good, yeah. good man. I took after him in a lot of ways. I looked up to him, he was 10 years older than me. So he's like a father and brother. It was just after my brother's death and I jumped on it because it just felt right. When I'm here, I feel him everywhere. I know he would just be, and I know he'd be proud of me. Let's get all the stuff in. It looks like a nice loose box, huh? You betcha. Well, if you want to go get busy fabricating stuff. Okay, Fred, got it. See you in a bit. You bet. Every mine you go on, people are you find out a lot more about a person by working with them. He got into prospecting as a kid with his brother. He's out here, you know, living his dream and his brother's dream. This plant, to my knowledge, hasn't been ran in a lot of years, so, you know, it's kind of a mystery whether uh, that gearbox is good or not, so we're gonna find out reduces the revolutions per minute of the motor and rotates the trommel at the correct speed. If seized, the trommel won't turn. Bad, we, we gotta start from scratch again. We'll have to get a new gearbox, and I don't know if we can source one in time. Moment of truth, I'm gonna start it up, see what it does. Fire it up, one. Uh-oh. Impressive. <laughs> this is great. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's it. It runs. Beautiful. Full. I can't believe it did run. This is excellent. Like, this is really nice. You've been sitting in a field for 20 plus years. No, it's uh, fantastic. It yeah. actually can run. Well, I'm going to get one. Thanks, Reggie. I didn't know what kind of condition the gearbox was in, but now that we've actually seen it run, it's spinning on its own power. The RPMs are proper. That's half the battle. A little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Smoke warnings here. On the index, it goes one to 10 in terms of uh, smoke in the air and it being unhealthy. Dang, Freddy. Well, this morning we got out to the trucks and it was just, they were just all. With just 48 hours remaining at the Naver Creek mine. <coughs> the smoke's worse here. Yeah, it is. Way worse. A change in wind air quality index to dangerous levels. But this is kind of rough, breathing this in all day. Yeah. If conditions worsen, it could shut down the rescue. I'm tipping it forward. 
first task of the morning? Yeah. I'm trying to put all the gold. There's no corner in a round pan, but that's okay. the corner. Yeah. Class is in session as Freddie gives Greenhorn Sasha a lesson in panning for gold. I want that gold right in the corner of the pan. Right. Right? In your mind, picture it dropping right there okay. with the angle of your pan and stuff. Bigger ones like that, yeah. just get rid of them. Yeah. Wow. Really that's, fun. That's quite a bit, hey? A lot of pie right there, too, that you're oh. seeing. So how are you to tell the difference? Gold never sparkles. It's always a dull yellow. Right. Okay, got it. Yep. Your jewelry, right? Right. Like this guy here is a piece of gold. Right. A couple of those are a piece of gold. All this is pyrite. Okay. Not fantastic, but we'll know more when we run it, I guess. Now we wanted to test different layers, like okay. the stuff right on bedrock, the stuff in the decomposed bedrock that far down, and some like that far down. Okay. Is what we want to do there. Right. Signing out here. I came up last year with my kids just to get away. Is that right? The first time I saw gold, those little specks, those little pieces hooked. Trevor and I are dating, and he suggested I come up here and just be part of the crew. I've just struggled for so long with children, raising them, trying to support them as best I could. So to prosper in gold financially would be amazing. Sasha's 22-year-old son, Dustin, has joined her in the gold fields. Dusty's working on the machines. He's doing whatever needs to be done. Just to be useful. I don't have a retirement plan. And if this is successful, it'll be. Oh, I'm circling. circling. And I'm also taking material out of the pan at the same time. You see okay. those rocks going out? Yeah. I think I'm too timid with them panning. Yeah. You see me, I don't mess around. No, you don't. Get the job done. There okay. we go. That's looking better. Oh, good. That's a good size nice. piece there. Yeah. Another piece there and a whole bunch of little guys out through here. Oh, beautiful. Love it. Well, there's one to get back to welding. See you in a bit. Thank you, Freddie. By giving these guys little tricks, you know, after we leave, they'll still have those tricks and they can, you know, do it on their own. I'm myself helping them out. Dang, Freddie. It's really bad down here. As the rest of the crew begin their day, concern worsen. One thing that we got to take into consideration, too, is not just us. You know, we got an entire crew with us, too. The rescue takes place in what is now the worst wildfire in history. Over 10,000 square miles of forest burns in British Columbia with one blaze less than 20 miles from the claim. What's your call? The air quality index is, is 10 out of 10. Yeah. You can see right now, it looks like it's snowing and it's just yeah. ash coming down on us. Yeah. I know you guys got a lot of work to do, but everyone here and the crew, we have to evacuate. Yeah. Okay. We gotta go. You ready, Juan? All right, let's go. As smoke and ash descend on the valley, the rescue shuts down for the day. It's a really tight timeline. We don't have enough time to lose a day. No. We didn't have enough time to lose half a day. Right now, the smoke's cleared out quite a bit. You can actually see blue sky. We just got to get this done. The night has dampened down the smoke, and the team is back on site. If we make it on time here, it'll surprise me. Well, getting fun, getting that carved out, and then fill that thing up with water. Everybody is racing today and for the next few days. So under the gun is an understatement. Now, we're trying to make up all that time we missed. So you need some help on this one? 24 hours remaining in the rescue. Fix and attach the hopper, fabricate a spray bar, and complete a new pond system. Yeah, if you want to help me, Fred, you can start putting those grizzly bars together. Okay. Well, the top's ready. I'll build the bars. Okay, You perfect. build the support for it. Let's do it. How much gap do you have there? Oh, half inch. Well, well, well. While Alex helps Freddie fabricate the grizzly bars, Juan and Travis weld the supports into the hopper. Do is make sure that the material that's going through the Grizzlies into the hopper and into the trommel are under uh, eight inches because we don't want anything big getting in there and getting it clogged up. I got the frame ready to go. I'm gonna start getting them lying where they need to go and get them welded in. We're out of time. We gotta get this done today.
drop. Let's clean that up real quick. That's gonna do. We're gonna get it welded in place. Okay, where are we at? On yours, right there. Perfect. We got the Grizzly all welded up. We're gonna lift it up right now. We're gonna get it in place. It's kind of the moment of truth. Hopefully it fits right. Yeah, that's good. Watch yourself, Travis. Watch your hands, Alex. Yeah. Watch your fingers coming down. Hold on, hold on. Going to just around that guy. Go around that front, Alex. There you go. All the way around the front. Did it change this go? Our hook came loose. The Neighbor Creek mine, one of the four chains lifting the 2,000 pound hopper, has become unhooked. So, are you gonna do it? Right now, I don't need any. Okay, we're gonna have to get back up there and hook that back up. Okay, coming back up. Okay. How's it look on that side? It's still above over there. Grab it, that's good. He's got it on this side. Got it. For the hobby, the square pillars must insert vertically into matching pockets on the frame. Is it there? It's, it's real. Come on down a little. This side's in. There you go. It's in. Perfect. And it's tied up against the trommel. Nice. That's a big relief right now. We got the hopper on, and that's a major plumbing to do, but we're that much closer to being able to get this down to the site and getting it hooked up. These guys are pretty green, so, you know, it's always good to put an eye on stuff before it gets too out of hand. With the clock ticking, the mud to dig out pay and create a new pond. It looks like we're almost ready to start putting water into this thing. Hey, Trev, we're going to be coming in. Freddy's with us. Yeah, I'm just down in the hole here. Freddy checks in on the progress of the dig. Hey, then that. we got to get all that pay out of there. I thought you already had it done, or I'd have been out here yesterday. Try it deeper in bedrock. Let's say go six inches into that bedrock, right? Sounds good. More pay must be dug out. Freddy's plan, once the pay has been removed and stockpiled, use the new cut as a... Get it all ready so we can start filling it with water. All right, let's get her done. Let's get to it. I'm gonna get to welding. All right, man. Thank you. Well, one thing's for sure: without water, we won't run. So we got to dig those ponds out, get water in there. We've just got to get it done. This has got me really stressed. Be out of here real soon. Yeah, we're still digging a pond. We don't have a new piece of four inch pipe, so I'm gonna reuse what they had. I had to cut all the little different plugs that they had on there and all the adapters. We're gonna turn this into the spray bar and the pop. Put a jet on the back of the hopper itself. What that's gonna do is push that material down into the trommel. We're gonna call it the pipe with many patches that my grandpa gave to me. It's all called patches on it, but it'll work. It's a sexy piece of pipe, huh? It's sexy, Juan. Oh, yeah. it's sexy. <laughs> all right, let me get up there and see if I can weld it in. That's it, done. Yeah, but I think we can start uh, filling. I mean, it's it's as deep as I can make it. Okay, so Sasha, Dustin, if you guys uh, can get the pump fired up. Copy that. Everybody is racing. All of us are moving well. Freddie, Juan, our team doing our part. We're seeing the pressure go up the line. Okay, one sec. Okay, we're good. We got water. Good job, guys. Thank you. That's a good angle right there. Yeah, no, it works. That looks good. With both ponds now full of water. Yeah, let's just backfill it from here. Our uh, tailings pond over to our settling ponds. What it does is recirculates the water. We don't have to keep pulling in fresh water. The new settling pond system is in place. Dirty water will exit the trommel with the tailings into the first pond. As it slows and the heavy silt sinks to the bottom, flows downstream through the culvert into the second pond. From here, the clean water can be recirculated back into the plant. Definitely bigger than our other pumps. Yeah, no doubt. A new four-inch pump 
will 100 gallons of water a minute to the trommel. It's a bit of a push to get it all set up, but uh, I think we can do it. We're all working really hard. So what we'll do is we'll unwrap this. This okay. end goes yeah. into the pond. There you go. <laughs> nice, don't fall in. <laughs> there you go. I was up to turn on the little pump and it's from there, it's just been non-stop, go, go, go. Can't believe this huge pump is going to make a huge difference. We got it already. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Trevor, just across here. Yeah, buddy, yeah, that's great. Thank you. We got her. It's done. Nice. Hey, what do you think? Literally, the trommel is the next thing in place. Other than that, everything's done. I think we're there. Let's go. I love cool. it. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Yay. Thanks, guys. All of a sudden, you're like a miner and feeling more successful in what we're doing. We're going to do this. We're going to make it work. Don't on your end. With a few hour Naver Creek mine rescue. I'm all done, Fred. We're ready to go. The team must maneuver the newly tricked out trommel to its position on the pad 600 yards away. I can get his big loader, get him in it. Let's do it. Okay, Juan, if you can let me know how close to get one. We don't have any time for any mess ups. I'm just hoping we can get it down there in one piece. You can probably get over this way quite a bit, Mark. Go. Oh, 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 oh. The 10,000 pound big for the road. Trav, you got that chainsaw? Let's knock that one down, huh? Well, we're about to get into a tree here. Last thing we want to do is work it ended up putting it in place. You ready, Mark? Ready to go. Slow and easy. Okay, we're getting into a pinch point here. It's going to be a little tight. That's good there, Mark. That's good right there. Stop there. Stop there. Now we got to hook up all the plumbing, get the pumps hooked up, sluices. Let's do it. These are the final measurements that he's doing that really decides whether you catch gold in this sluice pump. Come up a little more. Easy amazing how oh. we're going to be running dirt tomorrow this is the dream it's coming together the sluice is in we're just ready to hook up that last uh, water line and we're ready to go completion it's another step towards where we got to go i mean look at this thing it's a behemoth we haven't even got to see this you know we've put a hell of a lot of work into it tomorrow morning is the moment of truth Yep, get that plant running. You know, I'm a little nervous about it, though. You know, these guys are going to have to hustle more yeah. with this plant than the smaller trommel. Yeah, right now is going to be more important than ever for them if they do. Previously, the mobile wash plant maxed out at 10 yards per hour. Now, Freddie and Juan a mining relic, a giant 40-yard-per-hour wash plant, complete with new ponds and water system. Well, Juan? Sure. You guys saw what we were doing with the grizzlies? Mm -hmm. We actually put some bigger grizzlies on there. Properly spaced. We put an electric start motor so that way you're not in there. The big thing too is now we got a four inch water line coming coming to your plant. We redid all this. It doesn't look that sexy, but it's gonna work. Yeah. I gotta say, this thing looks strong. Well, you can see the sluice box. We reconfigured one of yours. Yeah. Different sides, completely different lockdown system. So it's set up to catch fine gold or coarser gold as well. Yeah, you'll be so you'll actually see in different riffles, you know? Wow. Well, let's fire it up, guys. Yeah. New trommels ready, ready to go. Can't wait to start it up. I'm pretty nervous about the four hour test. This is definitely a pivotal moment for us miners. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, whole golden sluice. You know, Freddie, it's really hard because, you know, we watched a little plant run. We didn't get to watch this one run, so we really didn't know what it was going to need. Ready, Jay, first bucket. All set for the first bucket. It's a huge difference in here compared to the first test. Different plant now better recovery system so we'll see what happens we are moving so much more material. two hours into the test the team have churned through 80 yards of dirt four times the amount of pay from the previous run for 
for a shot in the dark, I think we did all right. Yeah, I think so too. The sluice is running good. Yeah. The high system's running good. The Grizzlies are working good. I mean, what a difference. This is... That works, they want to. First time running, I'm happy with it. I am as well. This wash plant was a complete unknown. Immediately going to run, but it's going great. Nothing's holding this up. Now we've got the flow of that water. See, it's moving all the way across. And now that water journey before it gets to your other pond, takes the silt drop out. They're running a lot more material. The material coming off the end of the trommel. Clean. I'm very happy and uh, excited to see what's going to happen at the end of this. That's what it's all about. They're a lot smoother as a crew now. Well oiled machine just yet, but they're doing pretty good. <laughs> Lightly oiled. Lightly oiled. I think they're getting the general gist of how it's supposed to go down. They're doing good, though. Looking good, buddy. Looking good. Well, one. Last bucket, huh? Four hours. That's the run. Last bucket. Copy that. Last bucket. Let's see how much gold's in the sluice box. That's it. Shut her down. Hopefully it's in the mats. Yep. Mm -hmm. Buried in there. Get it cleaned up. All right. I always like to see a lot of gold when you shut down on the mat. I didn't see a lot. Sluice box didn't look great at all. It's all going 20 times from what we had on our first test run. Freddie said it, so we got to stick to it, but maybe that was the wrong call. You want to see something cool? What's up? Well, somebody made something for you that I'm supposed to give you. Really? Come here, I'll show you what it is. Freddie made your bulldog a custom cape. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I like it. Another friend of yours made you no the hat, hat and cape. Oh, that is awesome. It even matches exactly. Look at that. Probably smells less. <laughs> <laughs> Does it fit? Oh, it fits perfect, too. Look at that. I like that. It looks more distinguished now. <laughs> it's perfect, Fred. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Takes five minutes just to fill up these little pens. At the Neighbor Creek Mine, the crew began. I'm sorry about just jumping in and. No, no, please. no, no. Oh, this is, uh, no, this thank is. Thank goodness. But the gold bearing concentrate is still filled with. What are you doing, Freddie? Right now, we're just using this magnet to get the magnetic heavies out of it so mm -hmm. we don't have to deal with them. Right. So we aren't fighting our way through them. Here, I got my, my contractor's license, Fred. Oh, so you can release. Freddie's mining hack. Use the magnet through a piece of plastic to the worthless heavy metals. Thank Fantastic, you, well. you guys. Thank you. you. Even though they're novice to, to mining, they're not novice to hard work. To be with and you can work with and work hard with, you know, that's worth its weight in gold. I mean, the University of Gold by Freddie and Juan. We've got our two professing us what gold mining is. Getting rid of all this? I got, I, wow. Yeah. In five minutes, already learned so much with the, with the game changer. We cut from nine hour cleanup to one. <laughs> so that's huge. Got it all cooked up. When I looked in that sluice box, no. my heart sank. Oh, mine right. too. Yeah. To hit Freddy's 20 times gamble and put the miners on course for their 100 ounce season goal from this test. They need it more ounces. That looks better than the first yeah, one. That's huh? a lot better. Oh, yeah. Okay, we just went past your first round. <laughs> wow. Uh oh. Look at there. There's point. Point four oh right there. There's 20 times. There's 20 times. A little more gold left. Point four nine. <laughs> Zero point four nine. Dang near to half an ounce. As far as I'm concerned, that's a half ounce. In a four hour run. So realistically, in a full day, you can do an ounce. Yeah. yeah. Well, that puts you on target for your 100 that's ounces. That's right? yeah. You know, quite an ambitious goal of 100 ounces for the season had right now. That's a possibility. But uh, more than anything, they have a future here. Well, guys, I couldn't be more happy. I mean, look at the difference. Your guidance is huge. Yeah. You guys take care, okay? Thank you. Thank you so Thanks much. So much. Thank you, guys. Hey, hey, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It means everything. It means the life. I'm a gold miner. It proves my theories about this claim. I'm more than happy with everything. Am I going to get a return on this? Freddie gave us a good path. Juan showed us a good path. And it's working. We're getting our money back out of what we put our heart and soul in.
once a thousand, then it dropped to 150, and now it's a ghost town. 150 in this area. The saloon, huh? Must have been, huh? Just think, you know, the guys they might. Yep. A lot of those old gold miners, they came to get rich, but they spent every bit of it, yeah. blew it all. Yeah. Old rocker. Yeah. It was way faster than a gold pan. They could run a hundred times the amount of material they could panning. Pretty neat to see. It is. Check on the guys. Well, Freddie, this is our third time in Montana in the last few years, huh? Yeah. So what do we know about these folks, Fred? Well, their name are Rich and Kevin, and uh, they're brothers. They've been in here two years. Nice. Freddie and Guy country, 70 miles west of Helena, sneaking towards a struggling mine owned by the Dietz brothers, who, after decades of dream of mining gold. Do you know anything about their plant? Well, they said they've got a small trommel they can't seem to keep running. They seem to think the miners are kind of superstitious. I kind of feel like you uh, make your own luck and you make your own destiny. Do you know uh, Montana's motto? It's actually or gold. And I'm not sure on clock that. Silver. Yeah, 10 for gold and silver. In the early 1860s, the discovery of large gold and silver deposits attracted so many fortune seekers to this region, new territory called Montana. State capital Helena started off as a mining camp in 1864, which is pulled out created more millionaires per capita than anywhere else in the nation. Even today, there are nearly 5,000. Hi. How's it going, guys? Yep. Freddy. Nice to meet you. Hey. Freddy? Yep. Nice to meet you. Rich. Mom. Rich. Rich. Glad to meet you, Rich. Yep. Thank you for coming. They've mined a lot of gold out of these valleys. Yeah. Yeah. This land was for sale, and I called Kevin up. We knew there was gold up here with the history, and we found gold on it right off the bat. Made me wanted to be a gold miner was my quest for adventure. Spend a week here, a week there, gold mining. Uh, and now it's turned into... Now, both in their 60s, brothers Rich and Kevin Dietz quit the daily grind in pursuit of gold. I was in a rock and roll band until I was years in an insurance field. Uh, started in sales and moved my way up to eventually a vice president. For the last 20 years, I've been uh, doing different jobs, but I had a dream of doing this. The brothers were brought up by their mom in Casper, Wyoming. It was hard for her. She had three jobs. I'm the oldest, then my brother Randy, and then Kevin, and then Kyle. I became the young son who got picked on. Consequently, I left early until four years ago that we... Uh, acquaintance may be a better word than brothers. And we reconnected through. We're really glad you're here because we need help. How much gold did you produce last year? Uh, we produced five ounces and we moved about 500 yards of dirt. dirt. And we've got about three ounces. So, so we went back the way. It's going the, yeah, the wrong direction. What are you guys looking at for amounts of gold you need to keep mining in here? What's the most you've ever done in a day? Half ounce? Yeah, maybe. So you're not making money is what you're saying? No, we're not even close. We're, we're, I have $75,000 in cash invested. Rich probably has three, four times that. And... Yeah, I don't know. Basically, I've put everything I've got into this. I've sold my uh, classic car, my 68. Uh, so I, everything I've got is invested right here, right now. If this doesn't work out, I start over. After sinking or into the operation, so far, the return has not been worth the risk. I named my wash plant Voodoo. It consumes you. It really does. This is a feeder. The chain is broken there right now. This is our excavator. We've had lots of lawn trees. I don't want to just throw it away without potentially seeing some sort of return on investment. Our land has been heavily confident when we bought the land, but the old timers have not got it all. But now I'm losing hope that there's commercial gold on this land. And as we stand here today, I'm hoping that Freddie and Juan can help us learn how to be better gold miners. We are just a small operation. Everybody. Well, we kind of got a lay of the land now. Why don't we take a look at the plant, Fred? Yeah, yeah let's, let's do, do it. it. Did you build this plant? Yeah, it's kind of my creation. Rich built his entire trommel by watching internet videos. Okay, 20 yards an hour. That's an old sander. Yes, and it's not really made for rocks that we're running. We've had considerable breakdown. Yeah. The breakdown. 
So this isn't working right now at the moment, huh? No, the chain is yeah. broken right now. Okay. We can run the hydraulics and the belt, but we just, we can't run. But then you get it up there and the material in the real world is just not doing what I thought it would do. So how are you feeding the plant? Or is it we're just, what we're doing is just going up here and dumping we don't feed directly conveyor. right okay. into here. And then it goes up into the hopper. Okay. Well, let's have a look at the sluices, eh, Wano? Here's a nugget trap. What's the biggest nugget you found? About a width of a dime. It was only like about, uh, I think, three grams or two grams. Four. Rich and Kevin brought in friends Lynn and Jerry. Hey, gentlemen, dude. How's it going, guys? Lynn? Lynn? Freddy. Nice to meet you. And Jerry. What Freddy and I really like to do is we like to come into a situation, kind of see what you guys got going on, do a test run, and Freddy and I are just going to walk around and see, and what, see what, what's happening. See what your problems are. Test. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's do it, huh? Let's Start. fire it up. Fire it up. Water's coming, here it comes. Fire up the trouble. Kevin wants me. So my job is to watch that the uh, conveyor belt runs well. So if he's speeding a little bit at a time, so we don't trade him because it can break down at any time. provides a steady feed of pay onto the belt. With it out of commission, Jerry must carefully load directly on it empty for a third of their runtime and slashing yardage by roughly 30%. The conveyor before it passes through the eight foot trommel Rich fabricated in his workshop. Material then drops into the 20 foot sluice run riffles. I'm looking. Run it for now, bro. We don't care about that. Now that son of a gun packed. Yeah, it is. Holy cow. Pack it up machine is what That's they call here. A pack it up gold losing machine is what it is. Yep. There's nowhere for it to sit. And Rich's handmade riffles are already clogged. Any fine gold will be washed off the end of the sluice. Get away to get that material evened out. Right now it's screwed up. That's what we said. We'll see what it does. Scale don't lie. 
The Dietz Brothers' one ounce a day goal means their 40 minute test run one of an ounce. 0 0.06, guys. That's, um. <laughs> I'm just guessing, but I'd say 75% of the material that was ran through that plant. Huh? Just dirt. Yeah. <laughs> Like the library you found it. You know, and the yeah. problem is if you go in there and you pan, you see the odd piece and you get excited, you want to run it all. But the truth of the matter is you're wearing down your plant. You're wearing minimal, minimal gold in it. This concerns me greatly because I want my family to be successful. Mm -hmm. But the money runs out. That's how gold mining is, though. I mean, it's always a gamble. And that's my concern. So this is what you're digging? Yeah, this is the material we know where the layer is. After a disappointing first test run, Freddy's first step, investigate the Dietz brothers' pay. How are you putting the excavator out there, but went down the day before you guys got here. That almost looks like a mix of gravel and volcanic ash. Powder on you? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. You can see it, Juan, even though it's wet. Powder. So it's a stream, and then whatever volcano put this ash down, the Adel Mountains in Montana is an ancient volcanic field. Active, its volcanoes have eroded away, but the ash from their eruptions remains in the subsoil, mixed with the region's pockets of gold. Probably not very good stuff right there. When we got down to this stuff, we really weren't planning to need much. to play with that. When we first get there, we can help you guys find more gold, we can help you guys catch more gold, but we can't put gold in the ground. So that's what I'm concerned about. And just know on this property, that's what it's going to be. It's gonna, you know, you can't just take the whole dang hill because it has right. a little bit of gold in the beginning. I'm right. sure there's a tremendous amount of gold around here, but this whole pit right here. So this is the retirement plan then? I'm all in. I got this is the only thing I've got. I've auctioned off everything I've got, dealed in my hand, and I believe, and everybody we've talked to believes the gold is here. Ooh. <laughs> gives people wealth and sometimes gold takes people's wealth Take away. away. Hopefully we can help you where you're not uh, throwing away your retirement money to go gold mine. Without Juan and Freddy, we're going we're gonna to tear a whole hair, hill out and not get nothing. Without them, this thing doesn't go. We're in another one of those situations here where we really, really want to help these guys, but we're only here a few days. Just driving in, Juan and myself, it wasn't for nothing. There was gold here, and there's still gold here. Just got to find it. Running, what'd you find? One speck. One speck. With the time we have, I think a big part of what we need to do here is help them get on some better ground. I agree with you because it doesn't matter if, yeah. if there's no gold in the dirt. Can possibly fix that traco. We definitely need that traco runner. We'll be able to go up and prospect. We well, can't do anything without it. There's a few things that we can do on the plant. It's got a steel plate, yeah, with chain links on the side. They said it's broke, so. It's made to just move sand, and they're putting rocks in it. Yeah. We're binding up and popping it up. And then the sluice, the water's going to one side, and the material's going to the other side. It's a nightmare. Yeah. Some plates in, underneath at an angle, and force it to the center, and you know what's going to happen when it comes out of the center. And it's going to spread, spread properly, yeah. right? The structure of the box is good, but pulls, pull downs, carpets, under carpets, everything. Everything in it. It'll be a complete box. 2,600 total to do it all. In, just in this ounce of gold apiece. So 2,600. Plus two ounces of gold. Yeah. I know Kevin's really nervous about the cost of all of this, mm -hmm. but that's what we need. Identify three key problems with the operation. First, the drive chain on the feeder's conveyor ensure a consistent feed of pay and increase the yardage run by 30%. Second, uneven distress the sluice to clog up. Juan and Freddy will upgrade the carpet and riffles in the sluice box metal plates to force the flow of material to the middle, creating an even spread. Third, and most impair the excavator and find more gold on the site. All these fixes will mean nothing. Good, how you doing? Good. Doing all right? A couple things that we want to do, we want to fix your guys' feeder. Obviously, you know it's broke. The chain, yeah. Your sluice is plugged in. Mm -hmm. So any real fine gold that's in your deposit, you're going to lose a lot of it. Right you'll see that your water is going there in the first part of that sluice box, yes. right? Yep. So I want to design a system to get that material centered 
and then it can actually disperse out. They're all of good miners' moss. So it actually has a place where that gold would get locked in there and get trapped. It's expensive. You know, it's like 700 bucks for a roll. And then you yeah, actually have to bring out an impact, ranches, and everything else to be able to get it all taken apart. What we want to do, we want to eliminate all that and actually build a set of uh, proper tie downs for it. Camera? Yeah, quick, easy. Who knows how to use one? About 2600 is what we're looking at in material. And then one ounce of gold apiece for our labor. We aren't making really anything on it, but it covers our expenses. I totally appreciate the information, and uh, um, it's no surprise that we're having problems uh, and, and opened up my eyes to uh, what's possible because we're losing a yeah. lot, and that's got to be fixed. I, I totally understand. Sometimes you got to uh, invest money to make money. You always do. Sometimes you, you know, go a little bit further. If we walk away now, we're not going to get any better than what we are. Well, let's do it then. Okay. Kevin is, is a numbers guy, so when he when he says do it, it was it was a you know it was a big load off of my mind. I'm buddy will will learn from it and grow together. The reason why it matters so much to me for my, with my brother is that I miss that family connect. Still hopeful that that will change with the finding of sufficient gold. Shaped like a snake. Yeah, it has all the markings in terms of uh, the boundaries, mm -hmm. but it also has areas of where the uh, past uh, miners have mined. Why don't I... What we're doing right now is more important than anything else we're doing. Well, you just sit there and polish it every day because you don't have any gold to run through it, right? True. I want to show you something on this rocks over here. Okay. You see that? Yep. You can see how the old timers stack those walls in there? Yep. For them to go through that much work to do that, evidently there was some flipping good gold rates slowly, slowly, slowly working down. So one time this whole pile would have been over the creek and the water would have flowed through it. Millions of years, it covered the gold rich creek at the bottom of the hillside. To recover the gold, the old timers shipped it by hand and used it to build a retaining wall, preventing further rock slides while they mined. Well, let's keep looking. I want to look at it from the top and kind of get a lay of the land. Yeah, for sure. The gravel bed that was in the bottom of the earth. Yeah. Because once upon a time, that creek that's down in the bottom was here, and it's eroded its way down through. In here, if there was a spot I would dig, it'd be this area, because it's flat enough it could hold gravels. And lo and behold, an old timer punched a hole in there. Let's see what might be in there. That one's been washed a little bit. Rocks walked a dry riverbed, which could be teeming with gold brought down from deposits further upstream. What I think we ought to do up on the next, yep. bring it up here and run a trench across. Can we find anything? Yeah. You can see oh. it's pain in the butt to get to, though. On the other side of the claim, Juan and Rich rush to repair a punctured hose in the mini excavator. We don't have a whole lot of time, so fortunately we were able to get the hose in and Hopefully it'll help them out to, to be able to find them. Don't smack my truck, please. Okay. No leaks, looks good. An hour later, with the excavator back in the hill. Let's hope we can find some material here. I'm feeling very hopeful. I'm feeling a, a bit of the excitement that's uh, starting to build back in me that I had uh, a couple of years ago. See how these rocks are shingled? Yeah. 
there are flat rocks are laying flat means it's been worked by water this layer from right here certainly isn't the same type of stuff that we were digging this side of this wall is tailings i think see how much tighter these are yeah yeah i'm getting the odd rock now this side that's tailings tailings that's one more thing that i've learned from you what I'd like to do is... Freddy's test hole cuts directly through a spot between the old timer's tailings and untouched ground, which should contain gold. Copy, go ahead. Freddy's got a bucket that we're going to put in your uh, skid steer. Copy that. It's very interesting watching a master of work who can read the signs of the rock and the land. It's looking good. There you go. Now dump. Thanks, sir. Freddy runs three yards through the high bank before he pans it. Well, let's see what's in it, huh? Yeah. Hopefully there's some gold in it. Yeah, hopefully there is. It's ten colors. That's not good. Well, I don't know what to do now. Five dollars worth of gold in the pan there. No, twenty-five cents worth of gold was in that pan. That's not enough. Uh, I have mixed emotions. You know, I got insides. Just are you? Where I draw the line is, I'm very close. We're two years into this. I mean, literally, we're going down bankruptcy road. So basically, a tremendous amount of gold produced here. You can see it without somebody telling you. The amount of work they did in these valleys wasn't for nothing. There was gold here. It left, and where the f do we find it? We're running out of time here, I'll tell you that. It's a beautiful place, but uh, at the same time, you gotta put food on the table. Anna, around the Dietz mine in a last-ditch attempt to find the brothers some good ground. Kevin's put a lot of his finances on the line here. And, uh, I've seen his emotions roller coaster the past couple days. Found gravels that should have good gold in them. Not enough off the cliff. Most important thing in my mind right now is to find what gold's left on their property. The old timers hit it hard. You know, you can see a couple benches. It's an inside bend on this creek, that side is, which is good for gravel benches look at. We're just trying to pick through and find what the old timers couldn't get to. Water flows faster, rivers and creeks. The extra force of the water eats away at the bank at an increased rate. Gold bearing benches on this side of the time and their gold washed away. But the benches on the inside are more likely to stay intact with their gold. Still that sluice box down there, the water is shooting wide. The material stays on the inside. I just got to keep looking around and hopefully find some issue that we're having is the heavier material is coming down the sluice here and we're getting a lot of water here. So what we want to do is make sure that it's an even feed across the sluice box. And it attacks the issue of uneven flow. So we're going to force all the material to get concentrated into about an 8 by 10. Once it hits that little concentration point, it'll fan out and then it'll actually have a more even feed down the sluice box. At the end of the day, the more even of a feed that we have on the sluice box, and a lot of that finer gold. So it's something simple, but it'll help the recovery. I'm going to get it up to the cut table, get it all cut out, and then we'll get it installed. I got all the little pieces of design that we need to cut out. back from us with it really what i was thinking kevin is get up in here and uh punch a couple holes bend on the inside of an old meander i think we should uh punch some holes and check it out yeah let's get the track going hopefully uh we have Rounded rock, 
we found a layer, if it's got decent gold in it, that's about three feet thick here. So, could you take handfuls of the brown and throw it in the bucket and uh, okay. take it down and pan it? That's that bucket. All right, perfect. Alrighty, thank we'll be you. Back in just a bit. Okay. I'm doing a little pan and just to see if there's something in here. It's showing some pretty good color right off the bat. Freddy, how's it look? Not so bad. There were some chunks in it. Yep. This single pan frames as much gold as Freddy's previous bulk test. The old timers missed it. We found it. You found it, Freddy. We found I, it. I can't, well, found it. <laughs> you guys want to start getting pay down so we can run a second test here? Yeah. I guess time will tell how much gold is in it. Freddy, uh, he's so knowledgeable. Uh, Rich and me, you know, Freddy and Juan could help her. That's worth. That's worth more than gold would give you. For sure. It's now all hands on deck to fix the plant and make sure Freddy's prospect. So we got a broken feeder. We're not exactly sure what's wrong. They can't even use it. Got to lift it up and take a look. So uh, we got to get it apart, see what we can do with it. Pretty heavy. One's feeder fix will increase the amount of material fed into the wood. Careful, guys. Don't trust it. How's it going, Wano? Hey, Freddy. How you doing over there? Dead. On this bench over here. Yeah, how did it look? There's gold in it. Is there? Yeah. We got the prospecting done, so I'm going to start working on that sluice box okay. where you started off. Yeah. What we're doing here is going to, in the sluice box, the system they had uh, definitely wasn't the greatest. It was plugged up all the way. It's going to save them time. The plant's not running. It's not catching gold. Last one. I was able to get it all taken apart and I got these links put back together. That just paddles are welded onto the links. And what happened was this side must have gotten caught up and it broke the links. Rich had a little section of chain left over, so I would pull a few links off of it and repair the link. Last year, Fred. No, I just want to have a zipper. Yeah, I know. This one's Velcro. Yeah. It's nice, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's my good vest. <laughs> I'm going to buy you a new one, Freddy. Here. <laughs> Poor little crow off. <laughs> Why would you do that? It was already off there, No, Fred. it wasn't off. It was Did ready you to... hear it go? <laughs> yeah, it was ready to come off. Oh, it was. You still got a good one. I'm done for the day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to tear my Velcro up. <laughs> Western Montana. Juan leads the squad as they finish the fix. You're dead so far. Come on down. And Juan on this side. It's no showpiece, but look at that. It's in. Perfect. How's it going, Juan? Just got done here, so I guess wait for them to get all the pay down and yeah. we're ready to run. Yeah. That's the best gravel we've seen. Now we got to run it and see if there's any gold in it. I know Kev about everything going on here, but hopefully this will kind of alleviate some of that stress for them. I like these guys. I do too. Okay. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi, guys. Freddie and Juan spent the last five's operation. So I say we run 80 minutes, which is twice what we ran last time, so the math will be easy, and uh, we'll see how much gold's in it. Let's fire it. Fire it up. Before the hopper feeder was out of action, allow more pay through the plant. Material built up on one side of the sluice, blocking the riffles. Juan installed a across the full width of the box, alongside Freddy's rebuilt sluices with new riffles and custom carpets. But could be the key to keeping the brothers' mining dream and their friendship alive. Oh, 
first package. See if we can get some color here. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw golden. First bucket's in, one. Water turned brown. This box now on. Yeah. Before it was the same, the same, the same. Before the same. it was the same. Blood, 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 blood. All the way down. All the way. Glenn. Yeah, go ahead. How's it going up there for you? Yeah, that material looks good. If you look at it from this angle, I like that flow much better. Got a chance. Oops. Way different than the stuff we've been running. A lot finer, isn't it? A lot finer. The tailings aren't fighting up as fast. All that matters is they're rolling. Look at how round that rock. Rock on. Oh, oh, hey. Look at that one. That's rounded. That's pretty good, bro. Yep. Yep, we're going to get it. Shot it twice what we did last time. So we'll see how much gold we get out of it. Hey, go ahead and turn it off, Kevin. want to start knocking the boards and pulling the ripples out of here. Okay, we'll do it. All I need is a hammer. Look at that. No bolt. Nowhere to find that wrench. None of that. Look at that. Oh, How happy am I? Hey, Freddy. Yo! Do you have oil for this thing? It's not ideal, but it'll do something. It'll lubricate it. Hopefully, all that sugar will keep it done. Uh... Electrolytes. <laughs> we may have to spend half a day going through and logging and trying to clean. Well, it's never easy, but if it was ideal and easy, everyone would do it. It would be worth nothing. They're definitely off the beaten path, Freddy. Thanks for cutting all them trees. So, Fred, you were talking about these guys. What do they got going on up here? What well, sounds like these brothers are mining up on a bench. They're losing quite a bit. Of Earlier on, they were getting some chunky gold. It sounds like they're struggling. Miles deep into the back country of northern British Columbia, fighting their way to a 610-acre site in the Cassier region. A miner pulled out the 52-ounce Turnagain Nugget from nearby Alice Shea Creek. Today, two brothers face a crisis moment in these historic hills on their own quest for big gold. Well, hopefully this... Oh, how was the drive in? Out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. No trees on the trail? Yeah, yeah a couple trees. I've been on lots worse roads, but not a whole lot. Really remote here? Yeah. <laughs> Keith? Ready? Last, very Less. Less. Less and Keith. Less Keith. Well, nice to meet you guys. Well, it's good to put a face to the names. Yeah. Yeah. How long are you getting in here? What, 12 years? 12 years total now, yeah. Okay. It's an adventure. So what do you guys do during the winter? Work in the oil field. Oh, that's right. Always. Yep. Yeah. She can be hit and miss. Yep. For the past decade, 47-year-old Keith spent their summers hobby mining for nuggets when they heard about this remote mine. So I'm originally from Bonneville, I'll get here from home. Got invited by a local, called the one-armed bandit. <laughs> Give us a grand tour and got ourselves a claim. And we came out panning out here and uh, kind of fell in love with the treasure hunt. We are finding decent gold, so then it just kind of escalated from there. And I guess as we got older, we just uh, get along well. Out here, and I'm more of the mechanic. is not even a right size ranch. We work well together, especially when you're living with somebody for four months. 
it's a lot simpler just with the two of us. We gotta work a little harder maybe, but it works for us. Good. All our goal in the beginning was chunk your goal. By year three or four, we were starting to get profitable. But now the goal is different. With their operation custom built for chunky gold, they failed to turn a profit the past four higher financial risk. Our biggest problem, we're chasing this pay. No guarantees that we're in the right spot at the moment, but now we're not seeing what. The brothers dream to strike it rich and leave their jobs in the oil. You're basically just a number. I think at the last company I worked at, I was number 199, right? Here, I'm number one. Worst part about the oil, typically you're in some strange town or some camp somewhere, you know, working 12 hours a day. You miss the family life, you miss all the kids. Pretty much we everything. can't keep going like this anymore. It's just, you know, we're just bleeding money, essentially. Really hoping if anyone can get us straight note, then I don't know where we're going to get the money from to mine next week. So how'd you guys do last year? We actually didn't really mine a whole bunch last year. We uh, were having trouble okay. trying to regroup again. The gold that we're catching right now, we're not covering maintenance costs or anything like that. So, yeah. no. Can you show us some of it? <laughs> this is what we get. It's got fines in it, though, mixed in there. Definitely having troubles catching that fine stuff. Yeah. You know, whether it's a sluice problem or a water problem. What would you guys need out of this mountain to be able to make this profitable for you? Yeah, two houses a day. Yeah. yeah. So you guys are trying to set this up so this is a little more stable for you. Time. Your nest egg. Get yep. up and uh, maybe stay at home during the winter. And... There you go. Mm-hmm. We'd love to do a test run, but before we do the test run, can we take for a tour? Let's go look at it. Let's do Sounds it. like a plan. Right. So this your wash plant? This is her. And we built that plant from scratch, trying to make the improvements, trying to capture as much gold as we can, and uh, we still haven't been able to figure it out. One thing in gold mining is when you see people, a lot of people get it in their heads that they're losing a tremendous amount of gold. Usually that's because of lack of gold in the ground. So this is your cut you're working in right now? Yeah, this is the one uh, we just opened up. At first glance, this doesn't look good. The no. material doesn't. So like down there where you showed where you were getting bigger gold before, you know, it's probably a side channel beside a glacier. It's just little pieces here and there that are left over from that being reworked. Yeah. If the side channel is exhausted, it will not be economically viable. Sure, it probably has some gold in it, but that doesn't look good at your upper lay tilt. We've kind of got into, you know, kind of a different situation here than we're accustomed to. The ground doesn't. Let's run the plant. Run the plant. Well, we'll get fired up. Set it up the hill. Pull it back up. Yeah, no water at the front. Okay, last first bucket going through. Copy. Keith feeds their low-grade painter into a pre-wash, the twin-deck shaker, where spray bars built out of two-inch pipe clean off the fine material, then just screens, and then passes through a nugget trap, and into a distribution box of two-foot-wide, 20-foot-long sluice runs. The bigger rocks come out the end of the shaker into the tanks with his hoe. We probably uh, invested about half a million of our own money uh, into the property here and we have the same cost. If we can't uh, start to capture more gold and, and find some better pay dirt, you know, we might have to look at selling the property. It's gone up their whole life so far. It would be heartbreaking to not be able to come up here anymore. This is my other half, Nikki. One of us, which one? <laughs> we have two daughters, Cersei and Seneca, seven and eight years old. Summer since they've been born. This actually has gold in it right here. The gold miners' daughters. The rocks are coming off dirty. One thing I noticed there is see that back spray bar? The water in there? Yeah, it's right all in the center there. You can kind of see it's kind of leaving a bunch of material on the side. Yeah. I see he's got those. Yeah. There's a bunch of material sticking up there. Yeah. These last probably four years, I guess, and says more than what we're getting in returns, and uh, right now it's not paying as late. Take a look at that box, Fred. How do those feel? Wind it over. The tops are pretty rough, too, Fred. Those 
stop not. How's your pay dirt looking? Need me to come push some more up? The pay dirt that we're on now. I'm going to grab a little bit of off the end of the spruce, Greg. Right? Take a look at it. I agree. Apply to place in Canada. Sounds good. got some gold in here, Wano. Yeah. Really small stuff, yeah. I've got... Yeah, see I got, them up in the top yep. here? If we found that in half a pan, there's probably yep. more being lost. We took some samples, we found gold in them. That's enough gold that over time it can really add up. So that's the stuff we want to help them catch so they can put that gold in their pockets, not back. With limited pay remaining, Freddie calls time at the two-hour mark. Last bucket. Copy. You know, these guys have been at it a long time, and they're actually both really smart guys. They know what they're doing. They are. They're the best bank. If we don't go out and look, we don't know. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's right. I don't know if we can fix it. Why? Like insert material in there. So what we're going to have to do is uh, repurpose what they have on site to be able to get this plant to catch more gold. Because what they have right now up there, it's not going to... Not seeing much. If it's buried in the carpet, we're gonna see it. It's not looking good. In northern British Columbia, on the parody, brother Ian Juan examine the result of the short two-hour run. Well, first impressions. From watching it run, the good news is we do have a few. Uh, every little bit helps. Yep. That's the goal: is catch as much gold as you can. Yeah. Every piece that gets away is a piece that's not in your bank. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Well, the plant's simple. They've tried this and they've tried that. And Nothing seemed to work for them to catch the gold in the ground. They've got all, they're all spaced the same. So sure, they're gonna catch any nuggets that's going through there, but we wanna catch the gold that's not getting caught now. I guess, clean her up guys, and we'll watch you do that. A little dirty. Definitely some gold in there. Well, we'll leave you at it. Hey guys. What do you think? Well, gotta dry it up. Let's see where we're at. To hit their daily goal of two ounces, this two-hour run needs to deliver 0.4 of an ounce. 0.20. It's a little lean. A little, a little horrible. Yeah. I'm pretty discouraged. Put a lot of effort into getting that out and not getting a return. If gold is everywhere, it wouldn't be worth anything. So, unfortunately, that's not near what we need. We actually went down and pan some of the tailing coming off your sluice, and we did. But you're always going to be losing some gold. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But the less you lose, the more money's in your pocket. Exactly, yeah. We need something to help fund our future here. Their cleanup right there isn't viable for you guys, you know? The equipment, even though it's just two of you. It's really not going to cut it. Right, exactly, yeah. There's not even enough to, to cover the diesel that we ran in the generator to process it, so... You know, th things need to change. Hey, Freddie and our, like that, we'll have to sell or move on and do something else. With the way from the nearest parts store, Freddie and Juan put their backwoods mining ingenuity to the test. Some pipe, some hose. There's more stuff over here, Fred. Let's take a look at this. There you go, boss man. Oh, go ahead. You know me. All there. kinds of neat. It isn't what we want, but it's what we got. Yeah, unfortunately, he's got and a few things we got. We might be able to make something work, huh? Yes, Wano. Well, there we go. Brian fan. Look at that sucker. He'd be an egg cooking son of a. Chorizo con huevos. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 
huevos rancheros. There we go. Yeah, my Spanish may suck, but I got lots of the foods down. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think the frying pan's gonna help us a lot. <laughs> you don't realize how far you are until you get out into a place like this where, you know, really, if I got a down trip, and uh, that's just not feasible. We don't have the time to do that, so we're gonna use as much of the material that they have here on site. Useful, the next step is a plan. What do you think, Juan? Well, I'm really thinking we need to focus on that sluice box, Fred. Hungarian rifles, for sure. They're yeah. spaced too narrow, you felt yeah. them. Yeah. yeah, I think so. You know, if we can get in there and actually space them a little wider. Exactly. That little spray bar on there on the side. Well, it's spraying just like you said, Juan, straight down. If your stream is not hitting the material, it's not, not washing. Yeah. But if we don't get them on gold, or pay. The rocks are smaller and less gold. So we need to find them some old deep channel again. So, I think an ounce for the two of us. An ounce of gold a piece then? I don't know. Well, why don't we do this, Fred? I feel a heck of a whole lot better. Find better ground. Well, let's go chat with these guys, huh? Go from, go from there. Sounds good. Freddie and Juan with the wash plan. First, water from the back spray bar doesn't hit all the material they're feeding into the box. Leaving. Juan will build a new spray bar the width of the box to wash all pay dirt down evenly. Set up to only catch coarse gold and are spaced too tight. Juan and Freddie will modify the riffles, different kinds of gold and prevent them from packing up. Finally, to adapt the sluices to catch a secondary nugget trap called a boil box and fit expanded metal riffles and custom carpets. Finding gold-rich ground to run through the plant. How's it going, guys? Good, good. The sluice box, that top one. Yeah. And uh, you guys got it set up pretty good right now, but we're gonna reconfigure nugget riffles to actually make them have different spacing. Right now, everything's the same. The same environment all the way down. We wanna change that up, and by changing the riffle styles, it'll change the velocities as well. You've got all the material that's really up the under carpets, and we've got some of that carpet with us. You know, there's a lot to be repurposed out here, and really, you know, the amount of material that we need. We talked about it, it's carpet because you have almost everything things. we need. Yeah. Yeah. Two, three hundred bucks yeah. in material no. is all it'll be. No. But on top of that, you know, Freddie and I need to go through this plan. Doesn't matter. Nothing. Yeah. So and I can come in and I'm all fresh. I've never seen it before, so everything's new to me. Yeah. On this That's property. One thing that we've oh, an ounce a piece at the end of the season and roughly 300 bucks in material. Yeah. Well, well, that sounds like a good plan to us. So. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Well, well, good with it. Pound it up. Thanks, Thanks Freddie. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Freddie mentioned that he would wanted to help prospect a little bit to find some more pay dirt. Freddie going prospecting with us could make the biggest difference here. Yeah, so this is No Name Creek here. Okay. So this is coming between Haskin Mountain and kind of the hill we're on. Deer hunt. Scouring the Parody Brothers 610 acre property in a do or die hunt for good ground. Well, it's hard to on in here. There's been a lot of people in here over, you know, a hundred and some years. But you don't know what it means, right? Did they go in there? Did, did they just quit and decide to stop gold mining? Who knows? over there you want to look where they did lots of work because you'd have a gold rush you'd have thousands of people show up they came here they'd stake a claim yeah and then they did all that work to get there so they're going to dig a hole somewhere exactly yeah it's just so hard now i don't know a hell of a lot more than i knew this morning we can come in we can help a miner we can help their plant recover more gold but this one's a little tough well, let's take a look at what you got okay what we got here? Gambling that Freddie will make. You don't have any more flat bar over there, do you? Juan and Keith raid the boneyard for materials they can repurpose as part of the new... Two of those. They're a little light, but we're going to use as much of the material here on site to get this build done. Got some parts. Let's go to work, huh? Let's go put her together. How wide do you want to go on this one? you want to go with a wide one? Back on site. One revamps the riffle system to catch both coarse and fine gold. So we started here too? Have to. Thank you, sir. It's real simple. They're just little uh, square blocks we put in there, but we're actually using those to space the riffle so that way they're perfectly even. 
on, on both riffle sets that we built. It's, it's not the same exact size. It varies from four inches all the way down to two. So there's a bunch of different changes in there. One configures each riffle individually, altering the space and angle to give gold every opportunity of settling in the middle. A certain piece of gold that may not like that change may like this one. Yeah. Within this riffle, we have probably nine changes in one riffle. Yeah, maybe one will take me with them. <laughs> I'd have you any day of the week, Keith. Pretty damn good. Uh, Except I gotta, I gotta compete that, bud. Well, we can't all both have the good looks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with it. Right in, see? That's way easier than the way we had it before. Well, that looks good. One will also weld box designed to catch nuggets using a punch plate. He can then fill the rest of the sluice with fine gold catching riffles. Yeah. If we can cap that boil box off, cleaning surface that we have for more riffles. Yeah, if we can get that capped off. That opens up the whole boxing. Very good. Very How many kids do you got, Keith? I got four kids. Two boys from my previous, and then my two daughters with the. Uh... That's exactly what I got. You want to get them a little more involved, though? Oh, yeah. That would be uh, ideal in the end here if we get this thing set Rolling. up properly and one's a heavy duty mechanic, one's a truck driver, so I mean. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They'll fit right in. Yeah. <laughs> a, you need that out here. Yes. <laughs> Great. has probably spent more time here than. And his older brother Taylor, he really enjoyed it. They both enjoyed this place too, and I see them both coming back here. Yeah. One point now, this could end up again. Yeah. Rob, there's only two guys. <laughs> there's only so much you can do in a season two, right? Well, that's so, where you need to get your boys involved. And, you know, your uh, boys are old enough, yep. they kind of make it a family operation. There we are. Just bolt it out. Nice. That's it. Wish I could see into the ground. Half a mile from the wash plant. So up here is where the ditches are? Yeah. Detective Dodge hunts for a gully where gold may be concentrated. You said there's like seven miles of hand dog ditch is what we've Holy been told. Hell. Imagine digging through this, <laughs> these big rocks and stuff yeah. with a shovel. When old timers didn't have them, they dug ditches, sometimes many miles in length, to direct water to where it was needed. Indicator for you then up here. So yeah, that's a good clue that the old timers found the gold. They weren't gonna ditch it to where the gold wasn't. Definitely. So well, get drone up, huh? Yeah, we'll send her up. If I wreck it, it'll be the third drone I've crashed. <laughs> Following clues left by the old timers, Freddie hopes a bird's eye view of the landscape will identify the channel they were chasing. No. So this is the channel across here? Right there is a channel running straight across right here. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know this valley was here. If the glacier had came through here and reconcentrated that material, it might be some sure was in here. Yeah. That might be something cool. There is a distinctive channel all the way across this hill that leads up to a valley over here. When the ice dammed up on both sides, looking at it on that drone, and water would have came across this hill and maybe reconcentrated some of this loose material up here. Hill. Freddy's theory? A glacier laden with nuggets snatched from veins in the mountain forced its way down the valley. A second glacier collided with the first, slowing down and eventually melting. The gold-bearing material into an ancient channel, which should be a gold-rich pastry. Half a mile. Nice. <laughs> Well, I've got one idea, and I'll talk to Juan about it and see what he says, and maybe we'll have a look at it. We only have a limited amount of time here. One seeing him get excited is exciting for me, right? And, uh, you know, brings the confidence up a little bit that it might be a really good spot to go prospect. Get back in here and see what goes on. Only a day before the final test run. Then if you want to keep. Yeah, I'll keep on working on that plant. Yeah. Spray bars and all that stuff. We've got to help them with their gold recovery, but unless they have gold to recover, that means not. Well, yeah. it's got reconcentrated. Yeah, yeah. If we can get the track of, Yeah. get in there and punch some holes. If we can find some color, I'll be happy. Yeah. Move some trees out of the way a little bit. 
Freddy's narrowed down the area half a mile up the mountain from where the brothers are currently mining. I like this spot right here. Let's do it. Let's see what lives here. Well, we're just a good looking spot. We've got a hill here. It's a lower area here. So if water did run through here at one time to reconcentrate material, it's definitely got potential, whether or not it's got gold or not. We won't know for a bit. He looks for rounded river rocks. If the water ran through here, it would have concentrated the gold into a gold-rich pastry. It's all just glacial sand right here. I mean, there's probably a little bit of gold in it, but not very much. Down about, what, five, six feet, start to get into more gravelly stuff. Starting to get into some bigger rocks, huh? Yeah, that one was pretty well rounded. That bucket is looking better, huh? That looks like bedrock down there, maybe. Swing her over to the side here, would you, Les? Have a look at some. I like this. Yeah, it looks like a, a decom. I'm going to grab some of this material in the bucket. We can go pan it. Let's go right here, huh? Moment of truth. Yeah. Fingers crossed. some heavies in it that's a good sign 15 colors so that's better than a swift kick in the butt or something right yeah but I don't know. it's 30 mesh eyes well that's a good sign if nothing I'm yeah. happy with it yeah, yeah. Well. found some let's do another pan feels great check her out proofs in the pudding, right? There was gold in every pan. They're gone better gold. We can run a second test here. They've got the hole we're digging, you know, could potentially be the future of the mine. We found some color in there. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. You hear one? Yeah, that's perfect right there. With one day left and a vital new pay streak identified, it's the sun to finish a critical final fix to the wash plant. Really, we're running out of time, so... We just got to keep on working. We got to get this done. Get one on there. Backside right here? Yeah. This is hopefully going to give us a more even feed, which gives us a better opportunity of catching some of the fine gold down the bottom. Just a tad bit, but that's good. Be good? cut out. We're ready to get the spray bar up top. Thank you, sir. There we are. Right there. That's pretty good. Well, what I'm seeing now, we're going to have water all the way across this box. So no matter where the dirt sits, the water should be uh, help push that dirt out. Good job. Perfect. I'm happy with that. We want to make sure that the sprayers are spraying the same way. Make sure that that flow wash box and is pushing that material down to the screen. It looks really good. Thanks, one. No problem. This rescue is a little different. You know, there were so many things that we had to do, but that we had to help the guys try to locate some decent ground. I'm hoping with what Freddie was able to do and the changes we made to the plant is really going to help these guys out. But we won't know until we actually... Not this final test here. If the numbers aren't there, I'm not sure how many of us are going to be able to continue with where we're sitting at the moment. I just got a frantic radio call from Freddie. It's a big day at the mine site today, so he wants to pick out the right output. Well, what do you think, Juan? I'm, I'm conflicted. Let's get him on the light. 
What about this one? Let me see that. Uh, that might not be the one. I don't know. You got one more. Oh, in I got a bunch more. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I think it's the one right here, Freddie. I like that, that one. one. Want to wear? Okay. What about pants? Should I wear these jeans or should I wear these jeans? Let me see. Let me look at these. Those are a bit too clean, I think. No, I'll wear those. Those, those are the these ones. Guys? I picked out my shirt this morning. I pulled on my shirts out and took a look at them. And honestly, the way I picked it out was the one that smelled the best. <laughs> this one yeah, smells all right. Just sniff past it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, buddy. See Thanks, you, Mono. Yeah. What do you think, guys? Before they do the final run, well, let's have a walkthrough, talk about the riffles and stuff. Wait, more built. Freddie takes a closer look at the improvements Juan has made to the sloop. Well, you can kind of see, you know, what Juan did here. We talked about it. We decided to put your course riffles low for there and spread more and actually pick up a bit more velocity on the lighter riffles okay. before it hits the course riffles. Yeah, get a chance of everything. You know, all, all the same exact riffle like we had on the last ones. There's, there's quite a few more changes, more yeah. chances for that goal to get caught. That's going to stop it from backing up on us. Or greatly, they won't all back up. And that one piece of gold that doesn't like the other situations may like that one. Especially with the fine gold. It's all it from. You know, they've got a lot of experience in this fine gold recovery. And uh, so, yeah, I was able to ask a lot of questions on things that I've had, you know, been trying to find out. You guys ready to rock and roll? We're ready to play rock. Let's make some gold. The second test here, a little concerned um, how it's going to turn out. You know, hopefully, if there's no gold in this test, it's uh, back to the drawing board again. See if it's viable to continue operations out here. We'll do it. After a week of making major upgrades to the wash plant and a three-day prospect for better ground, Freddie is... excited about it. We're going to go ahead and get the equipment fired up and we're going to start running the plant. We're going to get some gold in the box. to keep them on track for their two ounce a day target. Well, these brain bars seem to be doing the trick, Les. Feel, go feel better. A lot better. Yeah, Wano, looks good. Look at that, perfectly clean. That's clean. That's clean. Yeah, you can eat off of it, Lon. We put that spray bar in the back. Oh, okay. You probably have ten percent more water going through than you had before. He's running it. His new spray bars are working good. It's washing it up nice and even. He said so. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Coming at you. I love gold mining. It feels like 
Mr. Mullen just decided to sell my business and go gold mine. It's tough to toss the rest of your life away and come out here and bank on gold being a success. I love the father and the grandkids. This is their dream. There's a lot of pressure on us, Ready? Hey! No way. Get out of shut off. Oh, oh, shut it down. Stress, Roger. It's a struggle not to be able to continue running this thing. We can't do any more. We're going to have a third kid in two headaches. So your house is dependent on gold. A little nervous about it, Freddy. Ah! That can't run without us repairing this. You have gold fever? There's something happened. An ethereal thing to take gold out of the ground. What is that? It's gold. actually been a little bit of a fight for us and I'm sure you guys will hate it as much as we do. <laughs> Turn a profit in the remaining 12 weeks, the Adams clan will be forced to abandon their dream of mining and living off the land. We have, oh. uh, yeah, little bits the last uh, years. I don't know how much is there. Yet. Maybe 10 ounces. Some flower gold in there. So what got you guys into mining? I grew up mining little bits with my grandfather and oh. my dad, but never on anything that kind of thing. And since then, it's been my dream to do this for real. When things got king again about how much fun I had with my dad and how much fun I could have with my own sons and how valuable it might be to them like it was to me. And I just decided to sell my business and go gold mine. Might be crazy, but that's what we're doing. Back home in Edmonton, Roger employed guttering business, so his decision to sell changed everything. We're not just here spending a little bit of money on a gold mine. We actually moved property, 150 acres, not too far from here. We intend to build houses there, but that's got to be funded by something. So this is uh, while we build other things. The boys are fully invested in this, but this is the only job they have. Until we put gold in the box, they're trusting me and come up big, hopefully. For them. This is our future right here. It's got to work. So far, Roger has invested over a million dollars of his extended family and live together off this homestead mine. Wow, it's not like families as well. Yeah, we really oh, yeah. laid it on the line a little bit. Like we, we're selling so, so. everything and moving out here and going gold mining, so it's all going into this. Well, we need at least 15 ounces a week. 
So that 15 ounces of a week is not an option. It's, it's a necessity yes. then. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, I'd love to start. Let's get this going. Great. That's the best part. Let's do it. Matt loads pay into the first bucket. The 60-foot conveyor provides an even flow of dirt up to the hopper, whereas the material before it's sent into a 20-foot by 4-foot trommel, and then into 22-foot sluice runs. The are you nervous that Brady's not here? Are we going to get gold, or are we going to lose all our money and have to live in the bush? And solo. One has just four hours to assess holes in their operation and recommend fixes. Already I spotted a few things the fields were running too much material through that box. But if Freddie doesn't get here, I'm going to be limited to what, what I can do. You know, I can fabricate, I can, but when it comes down to really kind of reading the wash plane, you know, that's where Freddie really shines. I just want him to run, we'll watch it, observe, and then find him. Look at this little guy. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Sorry I'm late, man. Don't worry, good to see you. You too. I'm fired up that I'm here. So let's watch it run and see how we can help these guys. Roger, Freddie made it. How's it going, Fred? I wanted to show you a couple things up on the box itself. Huge difference. Yeah. Nuts side starving. I think they probably ought to slow down. 70% of the material rushes down one side of the sluice. They're losing gold off the end. The way this material's speeding, you need to slow this down. We usually watch the run and don't say anything, but get your hands on. Our sluice box was packing up a little bit, so we slowed it down significantly. They had an electric motor, they took it off with a gas motor, because originally they were going to run a generator. But the kid, one of the brothers, just broke. It looks like he's got a lot to say. Our chutes, they're just pouring water everywhere. What happened? No way. The motor just died on us. Turn the plant off. Fire quit! With the motor dead, the plant needs to cut off immediately, or the trauma will clog with material. Shut her down! Why don't you blow from the top end? Here, do it again. You gotta somehow block your face off on there. So it can't be possible on this stupid thing. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Break your arm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Way, way older. <laughs> My dad is probably the ultimate uh, optimist. Just blocking it. I would say I'm nervous about it. You know, I quit my job out in the city and, you know, this is kind of a last resort for me right now, working and I, we don't like to be away from each other at all. But once we can bring some gold in, we can, you know, start a... I don't like the look of that. They probably got tons of dirt just right here. Almost one-tenth of this run's gold-rich pay has not even gone to the plant. Hey! Get the conveyor shut off. Shut it down. With two full hours left in the test. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Shut it down! Shut it down! Hey! Don't, don't start the conveyor. It's bound up. Get it. All this stuff that's coming down built up under here. We should have realized Set the belt off track and now it's jammed in. In two hours, the atoms need to get the conveyor belt back on track to finish the test run. We can loosen it off. Don't pull too hard there, you're right near a rip. Where to rip down there, guys? Right here. Before we run it anymore. In the condition that the belt is, we already got a hole in it. If we keep on running, we run the risk of losing the $5,000 belt. So I honestly think my opinion for the day. Yeah. I wouldn't run it anymore. But the conveyor belt isn't the only issue on the plant. That's not a proper... Tailwheel is a wing pulley. They call them self-cleaning tail pulleys. Yep. Yeah. 
if you would have had a wing fully, it actually would have ejected that material out. Yeah, like right now, this is off the belt. Which happens gonna, all the time. It's going to go underneath there, and it's going to get inside of there, and it's going to blow holes in the belt all the time. This is going to be your biggest uh, bottleneck right now, yeah. and it's going to cost you the most amount of money and the most downtime. And it doesn't matter how much. Well, you look a little stressed, Roger. Yeah, I am stressed. Yeah, it's it's a struggle not to be able to continue running this now, right? we got to get the hours in. The only way to make money is to put through the yardage. You're so. absolutely right. Well, let's well, take a look at the box. Steve, two hours is nothing to be happy about. We're supposed to work eight hours a day, and it's supposed to be gold mining, not fixing problems. Well, we spent not exactly ideal that it's breaking down every hour. So, you know, we, we put a lot into it. We really want... What do you think, Wano? You know, he's got a lot of problems already, right? That conveyor is going to be probably his biggest downfall. Yeah. You know, I, I love the fact that they're spending the grandkids. Yep. They're all here. Four generations is a little bit. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. You know, and this is their dream. Exactly. Well, if it doesn't work, then they're all going to have to separate. Yeah. You know? A lot of pressure on us, ready. Well, we'll do the best we can. We always do. Let's do it. Look at this little guy mining. How's hey. it going? Doing great. Good morning. Good morning. 40 miles from the mine, on the banks of the mighty Fraser River, lies the one homestead. It's a beautiful country in here. It is. So what's your game plan for the property here? We're going to be homesteading in a way. We're kind of on a delta here from the river, so yep. the soils are pretty decent. Yep. And a little eco-climate kind of thing in here. You can raise chickens, you can raise cows, fish it right here. Yeah, you bet. Matt's building his house out here, and hopefully the rest of them can build on this property too. Gold mining, hoping the fact that we can basically live off the land, I think it's an ethereal thing to take gold out of the ground. But to turn this dream into what needs to clean up at least 15 ounces of gold a week. How's it going, guys? Good morning. You pan in the oversize? Yeah. Material from the two hour run. Freddie and Juan get a mini master class in gold panning. It's a gold pan. Show us how to pan, bud. It's on Declan. We have four generations of gold miners here, and my grandfather was a gold miner as well, so that makes five. Here we go, buddy. Now we're going to get that gold on the bottom. Hey, now we're going to sweep. Sweep, sweep. You get it out. You can tell you got little kids because you can understand it. I did. You know, I speak your language, ready? Yep. You speak munchkin. <laughs> hey, now let's bring it back. Got a piece of gold right there, buddy? Right there, one of It's a rock. It's a rock. I wish I had a little nugget or something to throw in there. <laughs> Hold on, Freddy. Okay. Okay, let's swirl that around. Whoa! Is that? Whoa, look at that. Look at that. What is that? Let go. Yeah. Look at that. Go take it to your dad. It's, it's gold. My I got it. Oh. Or it does. Oh. <laughs> Declan, obviously, he's special and very special to me. I have to be able to support him on this entirely to, to be our future. And just about we should get about an ounce out of this. Enough, I would say. Doesn't look like what we were hoping to get. Yeah, I think we're gonna come up a bit short here. We'll see, but looks like well, more than a bit. No, no, listen. That looks grim. It's horrible. Seven. The family need to run 10 straight hours a day to hit their weekly goal. So far. The most important thing is uh, Run getting that conveyor where we aren't shutting down the plant. Yeah, it's a yardage game. Yep. I was hoping we'd see a lot more. I think this summer is a big make or break type uh, I've been away from my kids, from my family. I feel like I've missed the whole year of my daughter's life almost. I have a house that getting electricity here and all that stuff too, that's a serious challenge, very expensive. But I want to be able to get it to the point where I can live in it for this. Bring me out here. If you can make it happen, you got something special oh, yeah. there. Just mine up the road, uh, you can't yeah. beat that. You know, you guys are here as a family, yeah. so that's even better. So. <laughs> we've, we've helped a few that didn't get yeah. along, so we like, oh, yeah. that's fine. So. Nice change of pace for us. <laughs> we really appreciate you guys coming out to help us. So, You know, we're not miracle workers, but, uh, but we'll see what we can do. Yeah. Sounds great.
So thanks, guys. This is not just me. This is my family. This is us creating a life together as partners and friends. And and uh, if it doesn't work, so I, I really want this to work. That wasn't a very good cleanup. They only ran two hours yeah, before they broke. Uh, I think we need to get in here, Freddie, and, and really make up a plan for these guys because the truth is, you know, if anyone needs it, these guys need it. Yep. Less than five days to get the Adams family plant producing at least 15 ounces of gold a week to keep their gold steading dream alive. I'm go to this ice cream shop we've seen and we can talk about it. Let's do it. How are you? Doing all right. Large banana milkshake, please. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Appreciate it. It's kind of nice to be working at a mine where we're only 15 minutes from an ice cream shop. Yeah, no, really, there's there's quite a bit to do here, and I want to try to kind of figure out what our timeline is looking like. Conveyors, they're a blessing or a curse. Yeah. And right now, I think they're set up properly, and that's going to be a big help because, one, it increases production, and then, two, it's going to keep their, their production up as that's well. That's right. Keeps them running, yeah. falling far enough in off that conveyor. So I think we need to move the conveyor forward. We, yep. Well, and then that chute going out. That one side's getting favored with all that material. Yeah, we need to get a V chute to go out before it hits the sluice runs. You know, that tail pulley, that's actually what shut us down. Yeah, it's not a true tail pulley, no. it's a head pulley. So what I was thinking about is uh, actually designing a new tail wheel. It's a lot of work, but wow. but I think really with, with what they got going on, that's really what they need. Yeah. The conveyor Freddie and Juan's fix shifted further over the hopper and attach an innovative broom wiper to clean the belt. The base, they'll switch out the problematic head pulley with a self-cleaning tail pulley. The sluices pack up on one side of chute to evenly distribute pay and ensure they catch gold across the full width of the riffles. Two hours, so with these repairs, we ought to be able to have a full run. Yeah. So I like it. Well, let's finish our ice cream and a banana. Milkshake. It's usually peanut butter. They're out of peanut butter. Oh, no, peanut butter? Okay, I was, I was wondering why. <laughs> First line of business, we want to move your conveyor up, Philip. You know there's gold in that pile, so instead of that material landing on the ground, we can get it. Let's shut the rain off. And you guys have like a one acre umbrella? No, that's all we yeah. need. Well, Let's get to work. Do all righty, thanks, okay. guys. Freddie and Juan push forward with their first fix, moving the conveyor. Let's try that. It's coming out just a little bit. We're going to lift it. We want to scoot it over. But the problem is the way they got it rigged, when they lift it up, it's going to turn on them. You want a strap to go around that? Yeah. See a moto with the winch. As we lift, we'll pull it back and get it into place where we need it. Tighten her up a bit, Juan. So everybody... Away from that cable, please. That cable's over a big freaking rock. Okay, you ready? Me and you. Okay, Juan. It's pulling it, Juan. She's she going. Keep going. Okay. No, that's a handy pile of dirt to have. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Double check. Perfect. Done the lifting and moving, yes. We just got to pull this belt back now. It's all the way over, so we're going to try to straighten it out a little bit. Perfect, Wano. See Perfect. what it does, my friend. It's yeah, it's coming. A little more. That works. Beauty, eh? Yep. Yeah, the old guy does a little bit, yeah. <laughs> he's not old, he's only 78. My dad just turned uh, 69 today. His birthday's tomorrow. Okay, yeah. there you go. <laughs> awesome. Must be tough to be away from home, eh? That's uh, it. Is. I know when we were looking at going gold mining, you know, obviously the Yukon, if we had an opportunity with some ground up there, with our families like They're that. Just off. It's too so, tough. so that's why we decided to come this direction, and because it's here, we can actually live and, and make this home. Oh, you definitely miss out on a lot, though. How busy are you, Roger? What do you need? The measurements to build kind of a custom wiper for that conveyor. Pull the tape for me. To keep the belt as clean as possible, Freddie's custom. I'm pretty sure the belt's 36, unless it's some metric. Oh, you know what? We got a broken pillow block here. Oh, you're very... That's broke. Oh, shoot. This is now bent. That's what broke the bearing. Yeah, she's freaking bent. 
She's been in three quarters of an inch. Yeah, this is a big one here. Good bearing. Then without that being fixed, this conveyor can't run. So it'll tear itself apart. We need to find out if we can get this bearing easy, easy to fix. We got a full day's work here at least on this top end for a couple guys. That can't run. Can't. Your plant's down right now. It's officially down. Yep. Bad news, man. Bearing, the top been in. It's just destroyed. There's a day and a half work to fix this. Just it's that. not a ha ha deal. But without that fixed, everything else we're doing. Well, that changes everything. I, I honestly think maybe the idea of maybe doing a tail pulley is kind of out the window. It now. is now. We'll build some rock plows down lower. We can do those. To keep the rocks yeah. from getting. Find a bearing, but yeah. you know as well as I do, if we don't fix that, nothing yeah, else happens. We're dead in the water then. Yep. All right, buddy. Going good. Any luck on the bearing? No, no, I've done some calling around, couldn't find anything, but something occurred to me. My neighbor's just been gold mining here for years, and I know they got a seat can with a lot of stuff in it. I wonder if there's a chance maybe they would have some. Yeah, let's have a look. Freddie and Roger meet neighbor and old timer Stephen Keene. That's room. You bet. But what they're looking for is a needle in a haystack. No, in seven sixteenths. We need two and fifteen. That one's hot. Kicker here is it's, that's probably one of the best bearings you can get, but it's not going to fit. This is too wide. Keep looking, but this was kind of a long shot. Thinking you might have it. I'm well, I'm kind of sorry. I don't. But well, no. you got it. It's just too good a bearing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Jeff. Well, you're going to Prince George, I guess. Yeah, right? I guess so. Well, before I head back over to the mine, what can you tell me about the area here? Uh, 1860s, I think Abu started here. And there's a couple shafts, once down here by the castle, over on Rogers Map. Abu Creek was mined heavily by the Chinese during the 1860s gold scene. Chinese miners were more meticulous than others in the era. There was around 700 Chinese mistaken, I think, Abu himself died here okay. and rumor has it that a lot of chinese miners died at local superstition believes that the ghosts of those dead miners now haunt these claims and steal the gold we thought we had what we needed there but uh these bearings are just too big of a situation i gotta go to town now and start searching for the right ones problems to fix already and now we got this uh we got this broken bearing so uh you know not ideal you know don't grab it when it hits the ground it's hot ah! missed my steel toe by an inch and a half critical if they run the conveyor with a bent frame the five thousand dollar belt will slide to one side and shred itself freddie must remove the cog and chain that attach the motor to the head pulley Take off the broken bearing, and finally, fit the new bearing, if Roger can find one. Stage one down. Got her. One piece down. I've seen guys take two days to get a bearing off before fighting it, fighting it, fighting it. Okay, I'm going to warm this up. Yeah. We'll get some heavy gloves on and she'll come off. Yeah. Okay. She's coming. It's hot, boy. Got her. Uh, one part of the job's done. Gold mining stuff. I, I find myself um, at 5 o'clock at the end of the day wanting to stay longer. Okay, yeah. There's good days and there's bad days, just like anything else. Yeah. You can have a bad day at the job when you're getting paid by the hour and you still get bad days out here and your plant's not running. You aren't getting a paycheck. Yeah, bad days are real bad, but the good days are real good. That's right. To pursue his other passion. I sing in the band with my brothers. Matt writes all the music. 
I just get the pleasure of singing his lyrics. You might think gold mining is hard to make money, but it's real hard. <laughs> yeah. Kind of get up on our feet so that we can do that stuff in the winter time and gold mine in the summertime. We haven't talked. It's a big deal, I guess. So, yeah, but a big change for all of us. Are you ready to do some more surgery? Yes, sir, let's do it. For a new bearing to fit correctly, ready at the bent frame to straighten it. Yep, beautiful. It's pretty straight, huh? Nice. What'd you find? Got some good news. I think I got the exact one this time. Cool. cost a day. So if they get done, we'll hit her again in the morning. Well, Juan truly We're gonna build that hill pulley. Well, now it's not even a possibility. We don't have the time to do it. Just two days remaining. Freddie and Juan are forced to revive day to day to, to get that distribution box done. And then I'll start working on the wipers and stuff, the rocks wells. Yeah. But before they can get going on the urgent work for the day, and have a new proposition for the family. You know, a lot of what we want to do is depending on the time we have. That tail pulley is kind of grab the whole tail pulley idea. We don't have time to build one. We'll put multiple rock plows in front of that tail pulley so if materials comes off and if we put some kind of wiper system at the top of it that material is going to fall in that hopper instead of coming down that belt and then a v shunt of your material and 70 percent of your gold going down that left side of that sluice we had to slow you guys down during your first run but we're hoping that by down the sluice run you might be able to run a little more material awesome yep probably get another 20 yards an hour out of it i know kieran suffered an injury from that gas motor what we'd like this motor yeah so that being said, what we're kind of thinking as far as for the material, we're, we're looking at about $3,000 material. Part, you know, as far as our labor, you know, we, we always hate doing it, but we'd like to see an ounce and a half of gold a piece. Yeah, we really need your guys' help because we got to get some gold this the next season, right? So, yeah. You know. yeah. And the wiper and everything, you know, that's not only going to increase your production, but it's actually going to decrease your downtime as well. Right. So it's going to be a win-win. Because, you know, all that stuff, that's important. Put I mean, food on the table. Yeah. That's right. If you could eat mosquitoes in here, you guys would all weigh 400 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> Trust you guys, we know you're good at what you do, and uh, so yeah, we're, we're good to go that's on there. And another another yeah. thing you'll get is you'll get, you know, what you learn from us while we're here. You know, a bunch of bad jokes. Whether too. it's bad, yeah. good. Keep all those. Those are all free. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, deal then, guys. Let's do it. Thank you so much. left. It's all hands on deck to complete essential fixes. One gets started on the critical v shoot. We really don't have a whole lot of time to get all the repairs done. There's more here than what we thought. Even with all the machines we have and all the equipment, it's still going to be really tight. Both. I'm going to try to use a broom at the top of that conveyor as a wiper. So we'll see what it does. I want to drill uh, roughly quarter inch holes here. Okay. That way we'll screw that broom in there, right? Sounds good. I've got the top job because my fingers don't work so good. Yeah, he might look like he's doing all the work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the older one between the two of us. I think I got, what, four years on you? You definitely have a little bit of company. Not too much. I mean, he knows who's boss, so. <laughs> I got a few welds I got to finish up, then I got to put the slicer in the middle, putting everything together. Got shocked and burned at the same time. Had some hot slag go down my pants. Something happens in me when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> That's gold fever. It's gold fever for my own gold. Yeah. Box than somebody else's. <laughs> Juan 
Sun's V shoot, designed to get the family the gold they need to fund their homestead, is ready to be installed. When all the concentrate in the middle of that V shoot, and then it'll actually evenly get dispersed between the two sluice runs. We will actually get better gold recovery that way. Are we clearing on that side? Yep, good here. Okay. Gonna go left. We're gonna go in. Almost ground over. Are we looking over there, guys? Just a little tight, yeah? Yeah. If we go in flat, it might go. Yeah, I don't it's think it very will. Very close, no way. Eh? I don't think it will. We'll watch. I guess it's just because these are angled a little bit right no, that's here. The only it's on the top. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What are you doing, Bob? Correcting my mistake right now. No. <laughs> Test looming. Juan must make last minute adjustments to the vital V shoot to get it to fit. We'll call that good. Ah, oh, much better. Looks good, but let's let's hope it works good, huh? Oh, I'm sure it'll work though. So. <laughs> oh, I'm super excited to see this V shoot run. This is huge, so is everything else that they've done. I know it's gonna work better. Let's hope we can get through four hours, and let's hope we can just continue running after that like crazy. Hey, Freddy, what's going on, buddy? Question for you. Yeah. I need some springs, compression springs. We can probably find some in town, but that's a three-hour round for... Let me think about this for a second. You know we car? Well, it, if they're strong enough. I don't know if it's going to be... The car weighs quite a bit. My baby, Freddy. <laughs> I know. Team Belchin, you guys in your cars. I know, I know. Yeah, I think that'd do it. Well, let me take them off for you. It keeps me from drinking, so. That's right. You're going to drive me to drinking, buddy. There you go. If you're going to work. That'll work, one. No. You ever notice how the young guys don't get their fullest up? <laughs> Roger's got the heavy piece springs in place to wipe the conveyor belt when running. This looks like it's going to fit. It ought to work good, right? This is made for sweeping. So if we can get it off where it's falling down your sluice. Oh, so. they're a little bit off on land. Are they? So whoever drilled those holes in the conveyor, it's different. You know what I mean? Could be, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. You forgot that plate. For that plate. Yep, because right, right. I measured it with that plate in there. Gotcha. Right. Well, we're going to have to open these holes up. Tip number two. Uh, compress those springs up quite a ways, kind of like I've got it here. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Looks good. Yeah, this is great. wants to see what the gold will be paying for stuff like this yeah yeah if i live out of town i'm kind of a prepper guy you know make sure i have water and food and backup yeah. generator so you got like 150 acres here you said yeah basically everything you can see is our, our property ready so this is home sweet home it's a bit tight huh yeah i can't complain i got everything i need in this little thing other than the shower that would be nice there you go it's hard on short-legged guys yeah <laughs> come on in well, that's a nice skid check. Yeah, it's just kind of a temporary thing, you know. Hopefully I can, you know, get yeah. me and my wife. It's, it's tough to come out and toss the rest of your life away and come out here and, you know, bank on gold, you know, being a success. We need some money to survive. So this your accommodations? Yeah, me, my fiance, and my two-year-old son. Are yeah, yeah, definitely going to be putting in some extra effort to upgrade out of a camper. Did you pick the best spot first, Matt? <laughs> We can't do any more, honestly, yeah. until we get some gold. And that's just the truth. <laughs> Your house uh, is dependent on gold. Totally. Yeah. So my wife and myself, we're about to have a third kid in two weeks. And the trailer, I think it's a neat concept. This is an absolute beautiful spot. Let's let's help you get enough gold where you can keep it and make your dreams come true. Yeah, sounds good. 
bringing the boys into this, it has been, uh, you know, just adding a little extra stress. We just want to be able to... pounds of material 24 hours before the final test with the conveyor closer to the hopper the feeder we need to go four foot i'd say but it's jammed full of pay from the aborted first test well right now Freddie, it's too heavy to be able to material in there than the feeder weighs probably threefold so we're probably gonna have to get it all cleaned out so that way we can move it forward and get it in place yeah yep yeah. the risky solution Tristan and Taylor must cut the cylinders that attach the grizzly bars to the feet about the dirt with the excavator. Real slow, real slow. Little more power. Yeah, that's it. You ready to lift it? Yep. in that feeder and I am a bit nervous about that because I don't want to wreck something up even more. That's a couple thousand pounds out right there. Or so I hope Freddy can help us get to see a lot more gold in the box. I'm not playing games out here. This has got to work. The final fix on the conveyor, a rock plow designed to protect the tail pulley and prevent it shutting down the plant. Sure this I am putting on there is a place for us to tie our chains on because this is going to float on top of that belt. Hey, Roger. That. See where we're at there? I like it. It's an inexpensive hundred bucks total in it with the chain and everything. Yeah, yeah it's good, it's good. But uh, conveyors do move material cheaper than any other thing, right? Maintenance, they need to be cleaned. If you have really wet material all the time, it could be a battle, a non-stop battle. You must repair the belt. Any further damage could result in a costly and catastrophic setback for the operation. See how that's been a hook and hook and hook and hook, you know? You got millions of pounds of material going up here, so. Yeah. Sooner or later, it's going to tear itself apart. We'll put a couple. Got her? I think so. Like these up pieces like that, Roger. We're just going to nail and you start hooking it on something. If you don't get it trimmed off, pretty soon you're bleeding. It'll yeah. do the same thing to your belt. Good to know. Looks like they're getting ready to move that thing. Yeah, it's kind of a screw side. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually push it with the excavator. A little nervous about it, Freddy. Keep me on that skid. Yep, we'll have to go. As the most experienced operator, one takes on the risky job of moving the feeder. Got you clear? Clear? Okay, you're my eyes there, Taylor. Yep. Okay, coming at you. You know, we're kind of in a tight spot here right now. Are we sliding that way though? No. Yeah. Hang on. Other side, one oh. The ideal situation right now, he's got the electric control panel and the hydraulic pack right on the back there, so if I slip, I can take out the control panel and then we're completely screwed. Fuck him, it looks good. He's going more. Yeah. Yeah, he's about to slip off though. move with a 100 ton machine the feeder must butt right up to the end of the convert yeah so that the pay lends yep. directly on the belt slow yeah no. well shoot guys i'm pleased with it so far me too one yep. step closer to production yeah yep. thanks tyler it's great time in our career we've done that without breaking it yeah. <laughs> well let's do the test tomorrow let's, let's do, do it, it. You know, we've done air fix the problems with that conveyor and their feed system, but until the plant's running, you never know.
I know originally you didn't want to have an electric motor on there, you know, especially your son actually breaking his arm, really back to electric with it. Absolutely. Electric motors are safer to operate and less likely to injure. Roger believes he's found one in power, the 20-foot Trummel. So yeah, here's the motor. 10 horse, 480 volts. Well, that should work for us. How do you feel about with your son, your grandkids, and your great-grandkids, and your great-grandson out here as well? You think no 80-year-old man can expect anything. This whole project is as much about family as it is about gold money. What you guys got going on here is a dream of mine. You know, I'd love to be able to do something with my family as well. Hey guys. How's it going? Who's feeding the plant? Hold the buckets. Yeah. <laughs> There's no gold, we're gonna blame you, okay? <laughs> Let's start the task, huh? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Yeah, fire it up. Yeah. In just four hours. Oh, it's running. The Adams family will know if Freddy and Juan's fixed it. Mining dream alive. Well, first bucket on the second test, Juan. Yeah. You know, Fred, we did a lot to this plant. We got the conveyor move, the feeder move. We got a rock plow on there. We got, got a the wiper up front. Wiper. Rebuilt that bearing assembly up top. Your V shoot put in, so we should have a good even feed on both sides of the sluice now. On the first test, Freddie and Juan had to slow the plant with sending so much material off the end of the run. That's even, good. Good job. We can almost go up a little more, Brad. Feel that. Sorry, hey. Sorry, nine. Faster conveyor speed means more yards. Let it just widen it up. I like the sound of that. Needs more gold in the box. I love gold mining out of the ground with your bare hands. That's working damn good up there, Brady. What's falling off? You can see it dropping off right. As part of the Freddie and Juan conveyor masterclass, they moved it closer. I'm gonna go look at this rock plow too. And they protected it. Perfect. That's running good. Xin chào mọi người, chào mọi người đến với kênh chơi game mình đã bắt đầu chơi game 2048 nhé.
là mấy quá Ok, vậy mình đã hoàn thành xong video game này rồi nhau. Mọi người cảm ơn mọi người đã theo dõi video này của mình. Tôi xin chào các bạn. Bye bye.